वेरी गुड इवनिंग सुस्वागतम वेलकम वनकम जो बोले सोनिहाल सत श्रीकाल वालेकुम सलाम असलम वालेकुम किट्स ग्रीडिंग्स नमस्कारम अभिवादनम एवरी वन डू लेट मी नो कैन यू हियर मी कैन यू सी मी वंस अगेन वेलकम बैक टू योर्स अन अकेडमी नीट इंग्लिश चैनल माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स This is your Baba HSP Magical Chemistry Guru, and today Baba will let you know each and everything related to alkyne and benzene, which is really, really expected questions. You can say expected topic. You can say which is really very, very important for your this year. J or NEET examination, NEET two zero two four or J, my dear friends. First of all, Baba want to see the green signal in the chat section. That everyone, can you hear me? Can see me? Just a sec. Let me check it out. That everything is fit and fine, my dear friends. Do let me know that if everyone can hear me, can see me, just show me. Yes, the heart or the fire of both. Yes, then that will indicate that yes, Baba is perfectly audible and visible. Yes, that's really fantastic. Now I can see green hearts, red hearts, and if you are ready, if everyone is ready, I want to see fire in the chat section. Fire. in the chat section yeah that's really awesome now those who are new to this channel first of all let me tell you my dear students this is your baba hsp here you can see just a second kids now just a second kids so if you're new to this channel like and subscribe my dear students and just a sec this is your baba hsp baba hsp baba H S P and Baba H S P will give you today tricks. Baba H S P today will provide you tricks, tricks for this awesome chapter. And I have been teaching for the last twenty five plus years. It's written over here twenty plus years. It's a old one. Now Baba has done M Tech from H V T I Kanpur in two thousand four. 1999 MSc Topper, JRF, Gate, and my dear friends, this is your love, support, respect. That Baba is still energetic. This is only I would like to say your respect for Baba. And Baba is really Baba HSP is really doing hard work because yes, the energy which you kids are giving to Baba. Whether I talk about NEET and game students, whether I talk about Dream Batch students, whether I talk about Avengers Batch, whether I talk about all YouTube fans from North India, South India, East India, West India, and from people Nepal and other places of this country, really, I would like to say thanks from the inner core of my heart. that respect and support you are giving to me that's why i will give you each and everything which is going to come in your examination whatever the thing which holds a hell lot of weightage baba is going to tell you today now if you are new to this channel like like and subscribe this channel and hit the like button kids baba want to see the likes that will be your attendance now so this is i will take just 2 minutes to tell you each and everything whatever an academy is thinking for you people for your youngers for your juniors for your classmates for your relatives 
and for your younger brother or sister now see and for you people also india's biggest scholarship test by an academy stand a chance to win a macbook oh i watch even i don't have macbook i watch and other exciting rewards my dear students these rewards you will get appear on march 23rd 11 am and 5 pm two timings are there whatever suits you you can appear and enroll now my dear students you see this is from an academy site that you can get i watch macbook even baba is not having kids even baba is not having now second thing step by your exam preparations get flat 20% off on all neat ug subscriptions that's really awesome that you can get 20% off neat ug 2025 plus offer price is 38999 approximately 40000 rupees but if you use code you use code which code let me tell you my dear students, use Baba HSP's code HSP10. Okay, HSP10, and the fees will get reduced just up to 31,199. Means approximately 30,000. Means 40,000 and 30,000. Now, need UG 2026 plus duration 24 months, that plus two months extra. My God. 60,000 is becoming just 48,000, less than 48,000. So, use my code and one more slide. I would like to give you this. Right now, this week is going on the festival week. That special classes, you see, seven day unlimited access to J and NEAT, my dear friends, UG plus subscription. All online live and recorded batches. Now, this date is March 8 to 15. You can write to me, you can SMS, you can write down in Telegram that whatever the lecture you want to get, just here after once the lecture is over, you can write down in the comment section whatever you want to study out just for free. Your relatives, your classmates, anyone you will get for free as special classes now baba is going to start alkyne and benzene once again i would like to see the fire in the chat section that everyone is ready baba will start from alkyne are you ready hey everyone are you ready just do let me know everyone do some exercise and you have to sit this is just three or four hours duration whatever the time is required you have to promise you have to make a promise that you are with baba i know that all my dear students are with baba baba will tell you from the scratch from the zero level up to the first rank are you ready baba want to see the josh in the chat section and likes should go more than 100 i want to see more than 100 likes otherwise baba is not going to be happy all my dear friends make it oh already it's 100 plus that's really fantastic fantastic now see alkyne if i write one alkyne like this just see c h3 c triple bond c ch3 and another alkyne like this c h3 c triple bond c h and third alkyne like this, CH triple bond CH. Oh, ABC. Let's play ABC. 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 <clears throat> These are three alkynes. I will start from the alkyne, but let me check it out in the comment section. Let me see how many of you are active. Hey, chat section. Bavi. Jana Shruti, everyone, send me some hearts and fire. I will check it out in the chat section that how many of you are active. A, B, Baba will finish hydrocarbon from the scratch. Yes, Shankra. Hey, everyone, fast, fast, fast. I want to see everyone's name. Deep Shikha is there. 
Hassan is there. Rashmi is there. Janisha is there. Let me see my students' um, attendance. Archana is there. Hashan, Dr. Ilamiti is there, Feel, Madhubala is there, Sweetie is there, Amos Lakshmi, Tepati, Varshav, Dinesh, Babita, oh my god, all my dear friends. Let me tell you, kids, first of all, first of all, let me tell you how much efforts Baba has done for you. See, see the questions. Oh, where you have gone, questions, see. See the questions. Just see. Just see the slide. Oh, oh where you are going? Just see the slides, kids. Mm, wait. Wait, wait. Let me come here. Now see, kids. The slides. These questions, expected questions for examinations, Baba has prepared. My dear students, what is a fantastic, awesome thing about new questions? that nobody has seen what actually question is whenever you practice the old questions previous year questions many times you have done it you know the answer but baba has always given you ready-made questions or new questions answer is new questions today also you will get number of new questions once I'm going to tell you the concept and after that, immediately after that, Baba will provide questions. You have to sit with your pen and copy so that you can feel like right now you are giving your examination, neat examinations. Say everyone, ready? Are you ready for that? Baba will teach you the concept and on the same concept, at least five questions Baba will give you. Then Baba will give you Questions on the previous knowledge also on that day means four to five days back. I have taken one lecture on Elkin and Elkin combined questions. Are you ready? Say everyone ready. You have to make a promise that yes, you are ready. Then only Baba will do that. If you are ready, show me fire. Everyone show me fire if you are ready and make a promise that yes, with full energy, with passive energy, you are going to attempt all the questions first you have to understand the concept then baba will give you baba's magical trick and then only baba will give question and then answer will come has to come correct answer i won't get the correct answer ready yes see my dear friends this is alkyne remember that what what sir what should we remember my dear friends sp hybridized the hybridization is sp how to find out one sigma one more sigma so the steric number is just two either you can do like that or triple bond is always sp hybridized and the electronegativity is 3.25 oh great if anyone is going to ask who is more electronegative nitrogen or carbon so what you will say nitrogen or carbon nitrogen or carbon nitrogen or carbon who is more electronegative then definitely baba will let you know that who is more electronegative see who is being more electronegative just see kids who is being more electron nitrogen or carbon who is being more electronegative see ch oh, oh what's going on ch3 ch3 ch2 double bond ch2 ch triple bond ch who is being more electronegative electronegativity is not fixed just like the person's mind is not fixed person's position is not fixed just like you can say when the person is with positive energy person will speak all the things in a positive manner a positive if man or person is in bad company, he or she will become negative. A man is known by the company he keeps. This is old saying, but it's still true. So the carbon electronegativity is not fixed. Carbon is known by the company carbon keeps. Now see, it is sp3 hybridized. sp3 hybridized. Why? Because four sigma bonds, so steric number is four. 
Now, my dear students, its electronegativity is just 2.5. Its spheric number is 2 or 3. 3 because 3 sigma bonds. So, sp2 hybridized. Its electronegativity is 2.75. We can just understand the hybridization. Hybridization sp3, the percentage of s character is percentage of s character is 25%. Percentage of s character. How to find out? There is one pizza and divide it into three people. One people will get just 33%. So 33% s character is 33%. My dear student, 33.33%. And here two sigma bond sp and percentage of s character is 50 percent 50 percent so its electronegativity is 3.25 3.25 this carbon is maximum electronegative even more electronegative than nitrogen so its hydrogens are acidic my dear friend these hydrogens are acidic acidic hydrogens acidic hydrogens acidic hydrogens and this is the thing which is making this compound different different from these two now how it is being different gets how the question can be asked just see how they can ask the question just see to it if they have given you in one flask there is alkane in one flask there is alkene and third flask there is alkyne in one flask there is alkene in one flask there is alkene and another flask there is alkyne but we don't know in which flask what is present whether alkene alkene or alkyne we don't know now my dear students add sodium add sodium to this zupak add sodium to this zoom 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 add sodium to this ding 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 now just to let me know nobody has given out hydrogen gas zoom neither one nor two nor three no flask has given out hydrogen gas that means what 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 is the meaning of this the meaning of this in one flask it can have ethane in another flask there can be uh, butene and third flask there can be butane now nobody has evolved hydrogen gas why because there was no acidic hydrogen even this is alkyne this is alkene just see my dear friends this is alkene that is alkene this is alkyne even it is alkyne but it has not reacted with sodium why it is not reacting with sodium because none of the three is having acidic hydrogen neither of neither of them is having acidic hydrogen no acidic hydrogen no acidic hydrogen now my dear friends now my dear friends just see if i take another question if i take another question that i'm having uh ch3 c triple bond ch i'm having CH3 CH double bond CH2. I'm having CH3 CH2 CH3. Now I'm putting sodium. I'm putting sodium. Then which will release hydrogen gas? This is A. This is B. This is C. Write down in the chat section out of these three which will release hydrogen gas. I'm waiting for your answer. Waiting for your answer in the chat section. Hurry up, hurry up. Write down. Write down, kids. I want to see. I want to see which one is going to release hydrogen gas fast, fast, fast. Hey, my dear students, just do let me know. A. Niranjan Pillai has given the answer. A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Deepshika, Sharon. Yes. A will release hydrogen gas because A is having what? Acidic hydrogen. Acidic hydrogen. So, you can check it out in this way, right? Now, see, my dear students. So, this is the way you can check it out. Now, second thing, what Baba is going to tell you, kids, just see which reaction, 
खुश रहो खुश रहो आमिर खुश रहो और खुश रहो इन हिंदी टू बिकम हैप्पी इज नोन एज खुश रहो बी हैप्पी बी हैप्पी खुश रहो वट इज दिस खुश रहो रिएक्शन जस्ट सी एवरी वन से खुश रहो एवरी वन से खुश रहो खुश रहो नौ सी In this reaction, what we are going to do? CH three, C triple bond CH plus water. My dear dear students, when we are going to add water, this reaction is very very slow, very very slow. Why this reaction is very very slow, very very slow. Whereas if I say that I am going to react. alkene with water this reaction is fast this reaction is fast why why kids that is very very slow this is fast from these two reactions can you predict whose rate is more towards water they want to drink water hey let me have water The alkene is saying, "Let me have water." The alkene is saying, "Let me have water." Who is being more thirsty? Who is being more thirsty for the water, my dear students? Now see, this is more reactive. Why it is more reactive? See, kids. We will add water in presence of H plus, H plus. H plus will attack on the alkene. Zoom, it has attacked. What carbocation has been formed? C C H three, C positive double bond C H two. This is the carbocation. What carbocation has been formed at this place? Just see C H three, C H plus C H three. Now these are the two carbocations. If I say this is X carbocation and this is Y carbocation, out of X carbocation and Y carbocation, which carbocation is more stable? Write down in the chat section. Fast, fast. Out of X and Y, in between X and Y, which is being more stable carbocation? Wow, I want to see in the chat section. Fast, fast, fast. Fast, kids, fast. Hey, everyone, everyone. Which carbocation is more stable? Wow, well, I want to see in the chat section. No one is writing. No one is writing. What is happening? What is going on, kids? Hey, some are writing. Why? 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 Yes, I can see that Madhuvala, Pandu, Deepshika, Sukanya, Antriksh, Sharon, Jamana, Dharani, Rashmi, Janisha. Yeah, kids. Why is more stable? What? Why? positive charge is more stable on less electronegative carbon this is the reason what is the reason what is the reason kids reason is positive charge positive charge Is more stable, more stable, more stable on less electronegative, less electronegative atom, less electronic. So this is more stable, and rate of reaction is directly proportional to the stability of intermediate. So this reaction is fast, that reaction is slow. Now you kid must be thinking, sir, you are just doing the uh comparison of the rate what is this kush rope kush rope where the kush rope has gone sir where the kush rope has gone you have just started comparing the rate now my dear student that is the beginning this is the beginning what baba wants to tell you kids see kush rope reaction baba want to tell you about kush rope kush rope see that means if i say this is the reactant and this is not ready to react with water and it is saying oh i don't want to drink this water i am not going to drink this water then what scientists have done scientists have applied catalyst 
ding 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 c what is the catalyst 1% hg so4 plus 40% h2so4 either this can be given like this or the scientist can give you it like this hg2 plus and h plus then remember that mercury mercury wherever mercury is there mercury is giving the indication of what hey mercury mercury and mercury is saying think about marco marco nikops rule marco nikops rule mamma mia mamma mia m for mercury m for marco mamma mamma Mamma, mamma, remember mamma, mamma. Whenever you see Mercury, remember Marco Nikop's rule. And I have told you that whenever the rearrangement is going to take place, Marco Nikop's rule will get failed. But remember that Mercury is saying, I will not allow rearrangement to take place. Remember that. What this Mercury is saying? Mercury is saying, hey, I will never allow the rearrangement to take place everyone listening rearrangement will never take place no rearrangement no rearrangement case no rearrangement case no rearrangement case remember this thing this is the point to be noted my lord keep this thing in your brain point to be noted my lord that no rearrangement case million dollar thing i'm telling you kids no rearrangement case. Let me put it inside the box. No rearrangement case. No rearrangement case. No rearrangement. M for Marco. M for Mercury. M. Mercury. Mercury is saying no, no, no rearrangement. Clear? Let me check it out in the chat section that everyone is able to understand what Anthrix is asking. Why? Why? Kids? Whenever the mercury is there, it will form a mercurinium. And let me tell you, whenever mercury is there, it will form mercurinium ion. It will form mercurinium ion like this. Now, mercury will say, I will be of this carbon and I will be of this carbon. The charge will get decreased. This charge is less because Mercury is saying, I have given electron to both the carbon. Mercury is saying, I am in your life, I am in your life. Have you seen student of the year movie? Then there is one heroine, two hero. One heroine, one heroine, two hero. Both are thinking that heroine is mine, heroine is mine. At the last heroine will say, oh, I was thinking you like my... <laughs> <laughs> so the mercury will give support to this carbon and charge will decrease charge is not enough charge is not enough to allow rearrangement to allow rearrangement to allow rearrangement but at the same time charge is enough charge is enough to attract nucleophile what i'm saying kids i'm saying two things Charge is enough to attract nucleophile, but charge is not enough to allow rearrangement. What is the meaning of this? Suppose in your pocket, in your pocket, you are having 20 rupees. Now, 20 rupees are not enough to buy pizza. But 20 rupees are not less also. They are enough to buy samosa. You know samosa? Samosa? Having stuff of potato potato inside something masala potato right are you getting my point everyone just write down in the chat section what i'm saying if you are having just 20 rupees they are not enough to buy pizza but they are enough 
to buy samosa. So the charge, this is partial positive charge, it is not enough to allow rearrangement, but it is enough to attract nucleophile. So the nucleophile will come and attack, means water will come and attack on this carbon, and this is your Markovnikov's rule. Everyone do let me know. Antrich has asked, what is the reason, Baba? Baba has told you the reason, everyone. If you are able to understand, show me the thumbs up, hearts, fire, whatever, what I should get clear cut idea that people, Baba is able to make you able understand that everyone is able to understand. Kids, what is this? If the chat section is not colored, what is the use? Baba is supplying, applying whole energy, whole heartedly Baba is teaching. Yes, that's really awesome. Now. So, what Baba was telling you, whenever Mercury is there, Markovnikov's rule is there, no rearrangement case. Mercury, Marco, no rearrangement. So, let me give you quote. Let me give you quote for this. Let us make quote for this. See, kids, Mercury, Marco, Mercury, Marco, this will always help you. Mercury, Marco, no rearrangement, no rearrangement. So, can you make any shortcut for this? Mercury, Marco, Mercury, Marco, no rearrangement. And R, what is the meaning of what is the full form of MMNR, MAMANR? MMNR, what is the full form of MMNR? Do let me know. Hey, hey, hey. The full form of MMNR. Mercury, ta -ta -ta, Marco, no rearrangement. MMNR. MMNR. Okay, got it? MMNR. Now, see. After this, Baba will let you know the reaction just see first i will complete the reaction and then i will tell you the baba's trick first i will tell you the reaction then the trick suppose you are provided with this ch3 c triple bond ch so water water is like h o h negative part h positive part marco nikop's rule says that negative part of the region will go to that carbon which has less number of hydrogen zero hydrogen at this place and one hydrogen at this place which one is less zero hydrogen so negative part will come over here and positive part will go over there so the product what you will get you will get ch3 coh double bond CH2. Do you remember this thing? This is enol. Why I'm saying enol? Double bond in OH all and this is just 1%. It will tautomerize. It will tautomerize because it is unstable. 1, 2, 3. Hydrogen will go from 1 to 3 and double bond will come in between 1 and 2. What product you will get kids? CH3. C double bond O, CH3, acetone. Just to complete this reaction, Baba has taken two minutes. Just to complete this reaction, Baba has taken two minutes. How many of you want to complete it just in one second? Write down, show me the hearts so or write down me. How many of you want to complete it in just one second? One second. One second. I want to see the green hearts in the chat section. Then only Baba will tell you in one second. Right now, I have taken two minutes along with tautomerization. Baba has told you tautomerization also. We have gone through tautomerization. By chance, if you don't know tautomerization, you won't be able to do it. But Baba want to see. Yes, yes, yes. Now see. Everyone, just see Baba's trick. CH3, C triple bond CH, Markovnikov's rule, Markovnikov's rule, oxygen, hydrogen, 
hydrogen you know oxygen is having two negative charge and h plus is having positive positive marco nikops rule says negative part of the region will go to that carbon which is having less number of hydrogen and this will go with this what answer you are getting zip zip do let me know directly nowhere it is written in no book it is mentioned kids do let me know what answer will you get just answer within fraction of seconds you got it this is baba trick this is baba trick see baba hsp trick you and this is applicable everywhere no exceptional case how many of you liked it do let me know in the chat section how many of you liked it hey everyone do let me know how many of you liked it know where it is given and directly they will ask they will ask this thing in the examination know where it is mentioned this will reduce paper solving time and in this way you can solve any paper this is baba's trick and baba will give you each and every trick baba will give you each and every trick now kids once you are able to understand so here is the question if everyone is able to understand you have to make a promise that everyone you have to give the correct answer here is the question just see just to save your time here is the question try to solve it let me check it out how many of you are going to solve it baba is over here yes i will see in the chat section that how many of you are going to give the correct answer yes now kids i'm waiting for your answer i got it from from field t dits b madhwala b ashwani devi b oh my dear friends everyone is rocking everyone is rocking your answer is absolutely correct see claps for yourself claps now one thing you have to remember that you should know the structure also let me tell you the structures also see benzophenone is like this those who are not aware of the structures they will feel difficulty this is benzophenone benzo 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 acetophenone that means ch3 c double bond o this is being acetophenone benzaldehyde this is being benzaldehyde now acetone this is being acetone so the work of minutes has converted into seconds now another question another question baba is going to watch this in the chat section how many of you are going to give the correct answer yes baba is waiting for your answer everyone do let me know what's your answer yes 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 kids this time what's your answer Pandu is going for D, Niranjan Pillai for D, Jamana, Madhuwala, Sukanya is going for C, rest of other students, they are going for D and you have made it, made it kids, made it, congratulations, congratulations kids, it is D only, oh my god, you are rocking, you are rocking, how many of you are the, doing it for the first time within fraction of seconds, now see my dear students, what you are supposed to do, that give oxygen to this and hydrogen to this uh, and zoom 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 what answer you will get ch3 ch2 c double bond o and ch3 that's really fantastic either you write butane on or you can write down butane 2 on whatever you want to write because this will always butane on either you count from that side or you count from this side it is butane 2 on or butane on both are being correct you are really enjoying i think everyone is enjoying now my dear friend let's see what is there what is there oh baba hsp trick for what for what baba hsp trick is for what okay now see now first of all let me tell you then i will give you the trick this is we are going to deal with
ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ऑफ एल्काइंस ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ऑफ एल्काइन सी ब्राउन हाइड्रो बोरेशन ऑफ एल्काइंस ऑफ एल्काइंस एल्किस यू हैव स्टडीड नाउ एल्काइंस जस्ट सी किट्स जस्ट सी रिमेंबर दैट इन शॉर्टकट इट इज नोन एज एच बी ओ एच बी ओ एच बी ओ ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ एल्काइंस ब्राउन हाइड्रोबोरेशन ऑक्सीडेशन ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ एल्काइंस ओके नो रीअरेंजमेंट केस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी टेल यू नो रीअरेंजमेंट केस सेकेंड थिंग इज एंटी मार्कोनिकोफ एडिशन एंटी मार्को निकोप एडिशन नाउ पीपल विल आस्क सर वाई 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 किट्स here the four membered ring is getting formed due to the formation of four membered ring no rearrangement due to formation of four membered ring no rearrangement no rearrangement now everyone ready is everyone ready what is going to happen over here see kids just see what is going to happen over here suppose if i am taking this alkyne ch3 c triple bond ch and i am adding bh3 or b2h6 plus thf tetrahydrofuran plus water remember the reagent and after once this reagents they got consumed i will add h2o2 oh negative remember that this peroxide will give you the indication of which rule anti markovnikov's rule this peroxide peroxide now water will get added to that carbon which is having more number of hydrogen atoms anti markovnikov's rule anti 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 markovnikov's rule anti marko now what do you get kids you will get ch3 c h double bond c h o h you can understand double bond and o h enol this is being enol 1% this is unstable so it will tautomerize tautomerize and what will happen 1 2 3 from 1 to 3 hydrogen will migrate zup 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 and double bond will come in between 1 and 2 that's why it is also known as desmotropism so tato 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 i want to do tato marism a hey, tato tato what do you get ch3 ch2 cho ch3 ch2 cho now once again baba has taken 2 minutes baba has taken 2 minutes how many of you want to do just in one second always keep on showing the signal in the chat section kids again and again baba will not tell you what you are supposed to do baba want to see whenever you are in need of trick always tell me in the chat section show me the signal baba will not tell you again and again now see baba hsp trick anti markovnikov's rule now you can apply even you can apply this is this hbo hbo now anti markovnikov's addition so give oxygen to this and give hydrogen to this now you can see very clearly two hydrogens at this place one oxygen at this place what answer you will get kids to let me know ch3 ch2 C H double bond O clear to all of you. Within fraction of seconds, you got the answer. In this way, with just within fraction of seconds, you got the answer. Now, are you ready for the question? If you are ready for the question, yes, you got it. 
I will get clear cut indication that you are ready for the question. Show me fire. That means no problem is there. You can under you have you have got it. You are able to understand. Yes. Did you understand? Have you understood? If yes, show me fire. That means you are ready for the question. Here is the question. Just see. Let me have a glass of water and let me see the chat section also. I want to see in the chat section. That what is the answer? Baba has done great efforts. Yes. Kids. D. Pandu is going for D. Pandu is very intelligent. Pandu, I don't know answer is right or wrong, but Pandu is fast. Madhwala, very fast. Feel Thidis. D, D, everyone is going for D. You are really my kids. Awesome kids. Awesome kids. Let me check it out. Hey, Sim Sim. What is the answer? Oh, fantastic. D is the correct answer. Oh my God, that's really awesome. Now see, HBO. So give oxygen to this. Hydrogen to this and this is propanol. This is the correct answer. Wow, that's really awesome. Let me check it out. Another question. Oh, this is looking way tough. How will you solve it, kids? It's really looking very tough. Oh my god. Who is going to give the correct answer for this question? Hey, Baba, what's the correct answer? Let me see the chat section. Everyone do let me know. Laharika is there. Great improvement. Very good Laharika. Ram Biki is there. I want to see kids that everyone is getting improved. Antriksh is going for C. Antriksh is also very awesome strength. Niranjan Pillai is going for B. Oh my God. This time, oh my God. Mixed answer is coming this time kids. This time I can see mixed answer. Apply your brain. Everyone. Hey everyone, do apply your brain. I want to see the correct answer, kids. People, this time mixed answer. Why is like that? Oh, most of the people are going for B. Most of the majority of the students are going for B, kids. Not his students, majority of the students are going for B. I'm giving you one more chance. Just apply your brain, kids. Majority of the students are going for B. Let me check it out. See, kids. This is symmetrical. Symmetrical. Can you see this is symmetrical? Either you add oxygen at this place or you add oxygen at this place. And butuine. This is butuine. Both are butuine. Both the reactants are same. Both the reactants are same. So either you add oxygen on this place or you add oxygen at this side, you will get same answer. And that is, mm, that is C to it. Either you add oxygen on this side or you add oxygen on that side. If you add oxygen, this side, this side, both the compounds are same or they are different. Just to let me know, they are butane on. So, anthrax is right. Both are butane on or butane 2 on. Everyone got it or not? Everyone do let me know you got it or not. You got your mistake where you screwed up. Everyone do let me know. Everyone able to understand. Kids, I want to see in the chat section if you got it. If you got your mistake, I want to see some some signal in the chat section. If you got your mistake, kids, Baba is waiting. Baba is waiting that if you got your mistake, then I want to see some symbol. Sir, why not be not correct? Mahi, Mahi is writing. Why B is not correct? See, Mahi. Mahi, butanol means no one will form butanol because either oxygen will get added over here or oxygen will get added over here. Butanol is like this CH3, CH2, CH2, CH3, CH2, 
th double bond o so what knowledge we are getting if there is no terminal ch remember that let me tell you what is terminal ch what is being terminal ch this is terminal ch this is terminal ch if the terminal ch is there terminal ch is there then hbo will always form hbo will always form aldehyde 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 if there is no terminal ch if there is no terminal ch if there is no terminal ch remember that r is alkyl or aryl then hbo will always form what fill in the blanks hbo will always form ketone am i right am i making sense kids am i making sense and what baba is going to write let me tell you let me tell you very very important thing see all alkynes all alkynes when reacts with water water hg2 plus and h plus they will form ketone ketone is this statement true or false do let me know is this statement true or false then the answer will come except except acetylene except acetylene which when react with water hg2 plus and h plus it will form aldehyde this is the only alkyne which forms aldehyde only alkyne which forms rest of all alkynes very very important will form ketone right is everyone able to understand this point do let me know my dear students everyone mahi mahi i want to see mahi 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 wow pandu is really great pandu i like your comment very good mahi mahi you got it feel through this everyone you got it very good that's really awesome now this i have explained here is the question let me see let me see in the chat section what answer you're going to give. Baba is waiting for your answer. Baba is waiting for your answer, kids. Baba is waiting. Very good, Mahi Mai. Madhuwala, yes. Deep Shika, yes. Very good. Sri Shant, fantastic. Gets fast. I want to see the answer in the chat section. Gets. Baba has done lot of effort. Pandu is very fast. Pandu, you are really very fast. Feel thidists. B, Srinath B, Reshim Rajam B. Everyone is going for B. Since same computer. Everyone is going for B. So, show the correct answer. Yay. Fantastic. Congratulations. Congratulations. Really, really, really awesome. Yes. Now, another question. On your screen, this question is for 1 crore rupees. 1 crore rupees question, Baba want to see the correct answer. This question is for 1 crore rupees, my dear friends. Yes, yes. Hey, want to see the answer, kids? Baba want to see the answer fast, fast. Be fast, my dear friends, be fast. See, Pandu is going for C. Sukanya is going for C. Feel that it's B. Madhuwala for C. Salwadi, Shruti, C. Most of the students are going for C. Computer, just show the correct answer. Yay! C is the correct answer. You are becoming fantabulous. Really, Baba is feeling accomplished. Accomplished. Now, see, kids. Tolerance test. Now, kids, you must have studied this tolerance test. Where? Write down in the chat section. If your preparation is really going well, you must have studied the Stalin's test. Where? Where? You must have studied Stalin's test. Stalin's test. You must have studied given by aldehydes. Given by 
aldehydes you must have seen that tolerance test is given by aldehydes am i right my dear students just to let me know that aldehydes they give tolerance test have you seen my dear students do let me know in the chat section wow i is waiting for your answer just a second kids Yes, kids, do let me know. Do let me know, my dear friends. Baba is waiting for an answer that yes, that tolerance test given by aldehydes. Now, today you will see that tolerance test given by whom? Just see. First of all, let me tell you that tolerance reagent is what is tolerance reagent tolerance reagent is yes everyone do let me know tolerance reagent is ammonical ammonical silver nitrate solution silver nitrate solution that means you will get it like this AgNO3 plus ammonium hydroxide. But my dear friends, let me tell you, whenever you are going to deal with aldehydes, and in aldehydes, you are going to add tolerance reagent, there you were getting silver mirror, right? Shining silver mirror. But in case of alkynes, let me tell you what you will get, my dear friends. First of all, let me tell you that if the alkyne is like this, CH triple bond CH, if the alkyne is like this, RC triple bond CH, that means even if single hydrogen is acidic, then this with tolerance reagent AgNO3 ammonium hydroxide will give you Ag C triple bond C Ag white PPT white PPT no silver mirror remember this no silver mirror you will not get silver mirror what do you get white precipitate what is the name of this compound? Silver acetylide. Remember that silver acetylide. Silver acetylide. This is white PPT. And here is no silver mirror, but color is appeared. And that's why it is a distinguishing test. And this is known as positive tolerance test. This is known as positive tolerance test. TT. Positive TT. Positive tolerance test. Even one acidic hydrogen is there, this will also give CH R R C triple bond C A G. But my friends, remember that if the alkyne is given like this, no terminal hydrogen is there. If alkene is given like this, or any alkene, or any alkane, they will never give white PPT with tolerance reagent, no TR, no PPT, no PPT, that means negative tolerance test, clear to all of you, is it clear? If this much is clear to all of you, do let me know in the chat section, then Baba will let you know, question, Baba will give you question, if this much is clear to all of you, if any concept is clear, show me some fire, any symbol, white heart, red heart, green heart, whatever the symbol you are getting, 
that will indicate that the concept clarity is there concept clarity is there kids now one more thing baba will tell you kids one more thing let me tell you just okay okay first of all do this question then i will tell you yes here is the question which will give white ppt with agno3 ammonium hydroxide yes let me see the answer in the chat section yes everyone do let me know and kids past antriksh is going for d victor india is going for d madhubala for d yes antriksh all that is d everyone is going for d computer ji show me the answer Oh my God, why it is D? Why it is D? I can't understand. How it is D, kids? Baba is unable to understand. How it is D, kids? So, let me see. Ethyne, CH, triple bond, CH. Oh, oh you are ethyne. Acetylene, CH, triple bond, CH. Oh, oh you are acetylene. Propyne, CH. C triple bond CH. What is common in all of these acidic hydrogen? Acidic hydrogen. Acidic hydrogen. You got it. Everyone, you got it. Now, kids, smash the like button. How many kids are there? At least if you put already, if you have smashed, no problem. But I want to see more than 200 likes right now. Right now, it is 180. Yes. Thank you, Nawab's world. Antriksh, very good. Kids, make them 200. You kids, you kids can do anything. Only 18 likes. We are far away from 200. Kids, 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 make them 200. Let's see. Can you do this work? Are you able to do this work? Baba is doing lot of efforts for you kids. Can you make it 200? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Till that time. Baba is going to give you another question. Oh, color with CuSO4 ammonium hydroxide. Okay, let's see. CH triple bond CH CuSO4 ammonium hydroxide. Or some people can give you Cu2Cl2. Ammonium hydroxide, whatever is given out of these two things, you will get Cu, C triple bond, C, Cu. Can you see the color? Which color? Pink to red color. Pink to red color. And if you remember, in Phalanx test, which color you were getting? In Phalanx test, do you remember? When aldehyde was in aldehyde ketone chapter, when aldehyde was treated with phalanx reagent, phalanx solution, phalanx solution, what was phalanx solution? Phalanx solution was Cu2O or CuO, CuO or CuOH whole twice or Cu2 plus that was undergoing reduction to give you red color of. Cu2O, red color of Cu2O, cuprous oxide, red color you were getting in aldehyde. This is giving pink to red color, but this is not cuprous oxide. This is cupric acetylide. Its name is cupric acetylide. Remember that cupric acetylide, acetylide. I hope that this is, is very clear to all of you, my dear students. I'm comparing with aldehyde ketone chapter also. Okay, my dear friends, now see. Here is question. Let me see the chat section. Who is going to give the correct answer, my dear friends? Baba is waiting for your answer. Yes. Nilani creation, definitely I will do that. But first of all, everyone give me the correct answer for this question. Baba is waiting for your answer. Everyone, Baba is waiting for your answer. 
एम एस लक्ष्मी इज गोइंग फॉर बी रेस्ट ऑफ अदर स्टूडेंट्स अनंत सेल्वा कुमार वर्धन टेल मी दी आंसर एवरी वन विजय बी ई सती सी रेस्ट ऑफ अदर्स डू लेट मी नो वट इज द करेक्ट आंसर केट सी ओ माय गॉड समबडी इज गोइंग फॉर बी समा गोइंग फॉर सी मधुवाला इज गोइंग फॉर सी किरण सी मिक्स्ड आंसर्स कंप्यूटर प्लीज शो मी द करेक्ट आंसर शो मी द करेक्ट आंसर ओ बोथ ऑफ दीज बोथ ऑफ दीज इज द करेक्ट आंसर हाउ हाउ इट इज पॉसिबल लेट मी चेक इट आउट किट्स लेट मी चेक इट आउट ब्यूट टू आइन ब्यूट टू आइन इज दी एच रे C triple bond C C H three but two ion but ion but ion is C H three C H two C triple bond C H. Now my dear friends, how to distinguish? Distinguishing means some color is appeared, some fumes are appeared, so you can see with your eyes. Seeing is allowed. Touching is not allowed. Eating is also not allowed. By chance, if it is being poison, you are going to eat it. You will die. Anyone can die. You see, in the CID serial that Dr. Saluke, Dr. Tarika, they are mixing some chemical to the reagent and this and that in the flask or in the beaker on the test tube. They are just checking what color they are getting, whether the precipitate here they are getting, whether the soluble thing they are getting. Now see. If you add AgNO3 ammonium hydroxide, then this will produce white PPT, and this will not produce white PPT. No white PPT. So the one which is producing white PPT that is indicating that it is having acidic hydrogen. Are you getting my point? that is indicating that yeah you are having acidic hydrogen that's why only white ppt you are having acidic hydrogen that's why there is no acidic hydrogen and that's why no white ppt now this is going to distinguish one is having acidic hydrogen another one is not having acidic hydrogen are you getting my point now if you add the cuso4 cuso4 this will produce pink color because once again it is having acidic hydrogen it will not produce pink color no pink color right now i am in the pink city jaipur pink color now so both of these you got it is everyone able to understand my dear friends do let me know yes 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 now oh kids let me let me remove this let me hide it not to remove how many of you are able to accept this challenge which you can see at the back of the board such type of questions only you can do if you are ready if your hard work is there otherwise you can go you can sit for some time if you are not able to do this question how many you are going to accept show me fire in the chat section such a type of questions require brain heart power will power then only you can show me fire in the chat section if you are ready to do such type of questions otherwise you won't be able to how many of you are ready madhubala is saying yes okay now see here is your question let's see who is going to get the answer first okay let's see kids let's see I am waiting for your answer. Yes, Baba is waiting for your answer, kids. Baba is waiting. B. Everyone is going for B. Okay, let's see. Most of the students they are going for B. Computer, please check out whether the answer B is correct or incorrect. Hey, computer, this is million dollar question. Just do let me know. Oh, 
brackets this is d how come this is not b this is d you are right or the answer is correct who is right it's you are going for b but here the answer is given d what to do what to do should i solve it should i solve it kids okay let's see let's see calcium carbide plus water what is a do write down in the chat section what is a everyone do write down in the chat section what is a I want to see your knowledge. Everyone write down in the comment section. Otherwise, Baba is not going to tell you. What is A? A is calcium carbide plus water acetylene. NaNH2. Both side Na will react. Let me tell you how. Acetylene. These two are acidic hydrogens, NaNH2, NH2 negative is base, acidic hydrogen, base, what will happen, acid base, neutralization will take place, this H will go along with nitrogen, NH2 negative will form ammonia, will form ammonia, and this side also it will form ammonia, right, ammonia gas will get released. Now their Na plus because it is having negative charge, so Na plus will come with this. So what do you have got? Directly you got Na positive, C negative, triple bond, C negative, Na positive. Now methyl chloride will react. Methyl chlorides, chloride, methyl chlorides, chloride will react. Now C this chloride is having negative charge negative charge so they will eliminate out like this now what do you get ch3 c triple bond c ch3 butwine agreed agreed everyone first of all do let me know agreed or not butwine you will get everyone agreed till now butwine now let's see let me go back this is butuine. Now butuine, Lindelard's catalyst will give you cis alkene. This butuine cis. Now ozonolysis will cut it from the middle. What do you get? You will get acetaldehyde. Two moles of acetaldehyde. Okay, one step is missing, kids. It's not your fault. One step is missing. What is that? One step is missing, kids. After this, it should be written here HI red phosphorus. This is missing. So it's not your mistake. Then you will get ethane. So, kids, ethane. Then you will get ethyl chloride, CH3. CH2Cl and then you will get butane. So, bonus question. This was missing kits. So, it was not mistake from your side. This thing was missing. Kits, you got it. This was missing. So, it's not your mistake. Let me check it out in the chat section. Okay, kits. Kits. Yeah, one step I can see, one step was missing. Thank you kids for understanding. Thank you kids for understanding. Really thanks. Now polymerization. Let me tell you polymerization. Just see, 3 moles of acetylene when reacts with red hot iron or copper tube at 500 degrees celsius then it will form benzene now see how the polymerization is going to take place just see kids if i say this is acetylene this is acetylene 
this is acetylene now see kids positive negative this pi 1 will move pi 1 will get shift toward this side oh it is going to shift toward this side this is loser this is gainer now if it is moving toward this side this is loser this is gainer loser this is gainer just see how the pi bond is moving see kids if this pi bond is coming to this side this is loser this is gainer loser gainer loser gainer then what will happen kids then what will happen see this positive and negative will start forming bond are you getting my point this positive and negative is will start forming bond this positive and negative will start forming bond and you will get aromatic compound like this double bond double bond double bond benzene you will get benzene clear to all of you now in place of acetylene in place of acetylene it if it would have been given ch3 c triple bond ch propyne then i have told you the mechanism only what is going to happen this is applying plus i so it is electron donating group giving electrons so this is moving toward this side so three moles of it will combine and polymerization what do you get you will get compound like this and this compound is known as macetylene what do you call it kids Messy, messy, you know, messy, messy tillene, messy tillene. Remember, this is messy tillene. Let me write down the spelling once again messy tillene, messy tillene. Just see messy tillene, kids. Can you see messy tillene? Now, if you are able to understand, do this question. Once again, very good question in front of. You on the screen, kids. Yeah, G O A T Messi. Yeah, Salavedu Sruti. That's really fantastic. Deep Shika, fantastic. Jayanti Pandu Messi. Fantastic. Kids, do let me know what answer you are going to get. Baba is waiting for your answer, kids. Yes, kids. Do let me know. Pandu is going for C. Pandu is very fast in giving answer. And mostly Pandu's answer is correct. Juju, TSU, Pandu is going for C, kids. Rest of other people, do let me know what's also. A. Salavadi, Shruti is going for A, Madhuwala is going for C. So, computer, computer, please show the correct answer. Let me check it out. What is being the correct answer? C is the correct answer. Those who are not able to get it, let me solve this for them. Calcium carbonate, strongly heating, you will get calcium oxide, coke, calcium carbide water acetylene red hot copper tube benzene ozonolysis ozonolysis let me tell you you people are not able to understand ozonolysis those who are unable to understand ozonolysis just see this is carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, carbon, hydrogen, carbon. The bond will break from here. Ting, 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 ting. Now this CH and CH will remain intact. Three moles of O3, zinc and water. So definitely it will remain intact over here. This is known as glyoxyl. So you will get three moles of glyoxyl. I hope that this is clear to each and everyone.
clear to each and every one three moles of glyoxin so this is glyoxin now in the previous lecture i have told you this is wolf kishner reduction wolf kishner reduction my dear students so ethane is the correct answer ethane now while solving such type of questions let me tell you my dear students some of you are really waiting for such type of question but the students those who are really waiting for such type of question they are just 10 to 20 percent right now i am giving only up to g or h but at the last i will start giving you up to z then small a b c d like that 26 26 52 letters 52 equations once you are able to solve these type of question that indicates your homework is proper and those who are not able to do such type of questions that means their homework is lagging this is the cross check for your homework whether your homework is in proper direction or not kids how many of you are always waiting for these type of questions show me some fire in the chat section baba want to see and baba is always giving you new new questions baba is always giving you new questions kids baba is asking to you how many of you always waiting for such type of questions let me check it out in the chat section pandu is from west bengal that's really awesome pandu you are really doing very good Antrix really doing very good. Madhubala really very good. Filtered is Ilamithi, Vijay, JK. People, you are really doing very good. Mahi, Mahi, Deep, Shika, really, really, really. Peter, Erod, Anant, Rashmi. Now, let me give you another question. Just see. See. Baba is waiting for the answer. Once again, see. Great efforts by Baba. Yes, kids. Everyone. Let me check it out. What answer you are going to give, kids? Baba is waiting for your answer. Everyone, kids, do let me know. Fast, fast. Okay. Healthy dits is giving C. First answer I have received from healthy dits. That is being C. I don't know whether it is right or wrong. Velena dense worm. It's also going for C. Let me check it out. Whose answer is going to be correct, kids? Sela Vadi Shruti, very good. Lack of revision. Your, your transparency I liked. Good comment. Pandu is going for B. Baba B Lagrahai. Okay, let's see. Most of the students are going for C, then Pandu has written B. Now there is fight in between B and C. JK going for the B. Deep Shika is going for C. Oh my God, in between B and C, there is too much difference, kids. Too much difference. Now you have to fight for it because this is going to be the rank deciding question. This is really going to be the rank deciding question, kids. You have to tell me what is being the correct answer. Baba is waiting for the answer, kids. I can see only brilliant students are solving this question, but then also in between B and C, there is a fight. I can see clear cut fight in between B and C. Now, how many of you want what is the correct answer? Just see on your screen. Million dollar question. C is the correct answer. Now, kids, should I solve it? Should I solve it? See, Baba is going to solve this. Ethylene bromide. What is ethylene bromide? See, first of all, everyone see what is ethylene bromide. C 
pH two Br pH two Br. This is known as a thylene bromide, my dear student. This is known as what? A thylene bromide. And if I write like this, pH three pH Br Br. What do you call it? This is known as a thylidine. A thylidine bromide. Remember that, my dear students. Number of brilliant students they have lost their marks in the name. These two names hold a hell lot of weightage, kids. These two names are really very very important. And if you don't know these two names and the structure, how much brilliant you are doesn't matter. You will lose your marks. Now. You must have seen the two bromines are on adjacent carbon vicinal halide, this is known as vicinal halide, and that is known as same carbon is holding two halogens, gem halide, gem that is geminal halide, geminal halide, my dear, geminal halide. Now, see kids, once this is clear, then you can come to a thylene bromide. What is a thylene bromide? I have told you right now. Thylene bromide is CH2Br, CH2Br, right kids? This is the thylene bromide. Now, alcoholic QH dehydrohalogenation, one Br will go from here, hydrogen will go from here. Vinyl bromide, vinyl bromide, in the earlier class already I have explained, this is vinyl bromide, my dear students, vinyl bromide. Now, this is known as double dehalogenation. This is weaker base, that is stronger base. Now you will say this is weaker, that is stronger. Why? In the NCRT it is given, but let me explain. KOH will give you K positive and OH negative. NaNH2, this is soda mite, will give you Na positive. NH2 negative. Now, out of these two base, which is stronger base, if you can't compare, can't compare, then what you can do? Add H plus to this will become water. Add H plus to this will become ammonia. Now, you can easily compare who is stronger acid. This is stronger acid and this is weaker acid. And weaker acids form weaker acids form stronger conjugate base right stronger conjugate base now here number of students are confused if this is stronger conjugate base what is the meaning of that stronger conjugate base means it is highly unstable it is more unstable so what do you mean by this more unstable yes kids whatever i am telling you I am telling you the correct thing. More unstable. Sir? More unstable. Yes, kids. The stronger conjugate base is more unstable. Why it is more unstable? That's why it is having more affinity towards proton. The one who is stable, why it is going to ask for proton? If I am strong, I am feeling comfortable, I will not ask for anything. If I am asking for anything, that means I am feeling unstable. So, this is more unstable. So, will easily accept proton, will easily accept proton, will easily accept proton. Remember this, number of students are getting confused at this place. If it is stronger conjugate base, then stronger means it is not going to accept proton. That you are thinking, you are wrong. Otherwise, directly you could have compared. See, OH negative. Let me tell you another way. NH2 negative. Oxygen selectronegativity is 3.5. Nitrogen selectronegativity is just 3. If the size is almost similar, remember that. If the size, whose size? If the size of atom having negative charge
is almost similar almost same then negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom this thing you must know then negative charge is more stable on more electronegative atom so this is stable so weaker ways this is less stable so stronger ways is it clear to all of you is this point clear to all of you then double dehydrohalogenation this br this br is being benylic it is having this single bond is having partial double bond character because it is going to do resonance with this compound that's why i call this bromine the captain of the ship will not easily eliminate out that's why we require nanh2 now one nanh2 one nanh2 let me tell you this reaction one nanh2 will do what na will come at this place will take away this bromide so positive charge and nh2 negative will come and take away this proton negative charge negative positive they will form bond ch triple bond ch this is done by one nanh2 one nanh2 but how many nanh2s are given two equivalent one only one right now i have consumed now another nanh2 one more nanh2 will come and NH2 negative will take away one proton only, one proton. So you will get Na C triple bond CH. This was the twist, kids. That monosodium acetylide you will get. Those who have formed disodium acetylide, that is your mistake. If you have formed disodium acetylide only, monosodium acetylide because two equivalents of NaNH2 are given one will get consumed in dehydrohalogenation and second will do acid base neutralization because this reaction is dehydrohalogenation dehydrohalogenation and that is being acid base neutralization Now, my dear students, let me come back. So, this is Na C triple bond C H. Now, only one methyl will occupy this place. So, propyne red hot copper tube, you will get macetylene. Now, my dear students. It is having how many benzylic hydrogen? Do let me know in the chat section. This is having three, 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 nine benzylic hydrogen. If you do the FRSR free radical substitution reaction, all the benzylic hydrogens will get removed. CCl3, CCl3, CCl3. Now remember this reaction of class 11th. I've told you on that day. That if you are having RCl and if you are going to react with H2, Zn, HCl, this is given in an NCRT preparation of alkane, then hydrogen will get added at this place. Reaction, I've told you four to five days back when I have taken the lecture of alkane and alkene. Now, see, kids, hydrogen once again will come back. It's how was the question newly framed absolutely new question how many of you liked it show me some hearts green hearts white heart right heart red heart whatever kids newly framed absolutely new question kids I want to see in the chat section that how many of you liked it kids my efforts are working or not how many of you are able to understand Deep Shika is writing amazing. Antriksh, wow. Pelthidates, wow. Anand Selva Kumar is writing. This is Anaconda question, really. 
little tricky mahi mahi but interested sir that's really awesome really awesome that's fantastic now let's move ahead esr now we are going to deal with electrophilic substitution reaction electrophilic substitution that is benzene we are going to start with benzene kits finally we are going to start with benzene now my dear students what is special about benzene what is special about benzene that benzene's speciality is that it is being aromatic now who is making benzene to be aromatic these six pi electrons and due to these six pi electrons benzene is electron rich i would like to say richy rich and these electrons are making it nucleophilic nucleophilic now my dear students this is nucleophile who would like to attract attack on this benzene definitely this is rich so electrophile they are going to attack on this benzene and that's why this is the attacking agent electrophile electrophilic electrophilic substitution reaction substitution reaction why i am calling it substitution reaction my dear students if you say this is benzene and if you say hcl is going to attack so if it is happening like this then what's the problem what is the problem its aromatic character will be lost its aromatic character and this is non aromatic now some kids will say it is anti aromatic no my dear student it's not anti aromatic because these carbons are sp3 hybridized so this will become non aromatic this is highly stable and highly stable will convert into unstable this is not possible so this is wrong this is not going to happen kids this is not going to happen are you getting my point everyone are you getting my point kids this is not going to happen because benzene doesn't want to lose its aromaticity benzene don't want to lose its aromaticity kids are you getting my point everyone looking my point everyone do let me know everyone is able to understand now see benzene want to say benzene is saying everyone okay <laughs> what benzene want to say let me tell you benzene is saying to everyone you do one thing you can take my hydrogens you can take my you can take my what hydrogen you come and just take away my hydrogen and who will come the one who is having cold war e nu e is delta positive and nu delta negative now here hydrogen is being delta positive and carbon being delta negative so definitely they must be thinking that nu will come with the electron and will take h and this will convert into hanu and benzene will enjoy what benzene will form a bond with e but there is one problem kids what is the problem this is substituted benzene kids the problem is that these hydrogens are aryllic all six hydrogens are aryllic if they are going to leave this benzene this will get negative charge which is localized means tough to be eliminated out 
that means this reaction is not that simple as it is looking if you see the movie there is one hero there is one heroine and ultimately they will get married but that marriage is not that easy they will take they will consume at least two and a half hours then there will be obstacles there will be fight there will be this that and number of dramas will go and then only marriage is possible so i have told you this this was the reactant this was the reactant and this is being product but how this product has been formed from the reactant it will take some steps there will be some mechanism and that mechanism once i am going to tell you you will be able to understand each and everything my dear student each and everything you will be able to understand now are you ready just like if you have seen if you have watched the cid serial one heroine has fallen down from the multi story building now dr soliki doctor um, number of people acp pradhuman daya they will say oh i think this would be happened this would happen i think this must have happened like that they will do the analysis so let's see first of all let me tell you how many types of esr are there hansa coupling gutter man hansa coupling gutter man what i am saying how many types of esr are there hansa coupling gutter man these are the esr what is the meaning of all these the meaning of h is halogenation halogenation the meaning of n is nitration nitration the meaning of s is sulfonation 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 the meaning of a is alkylation which alkylation kits which alkylation friedel craft alkylation and a for acylation this is friedel craft acylation friedel craft friedel 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 craft alkylation acylation hansa coupling gutterman coupling reaction i will let you know this is given in old ncert page number 394 or new ncert page number 404 i will let you know and get a man reaction kids how is the josh first of all do let me know keep yourself hydrated everyone keep yourself hydrated and how is the josh do let me know let me see kids how is the josh kids yes this reaction is very very important coupling reaction kids if i tell you an old ncert very old better to say very old ncert page number 3 96 Three ninety seven, three ninety eight, and new NCRT. If I say new NCRT, four zero four, four zero five, four zero six, diazonium chloride reaction. Now, is everyone ready, kids? Now, that's really fantastic. Once I tell you the general mechanism, once I tell you the general mechanism, my dear friends. but first of all do let me know are you full of energy or you want some break first of all do let me know are you full on with your batteries energy or you need some break first of all do let me know kids i want to see in the chat section i want to see in the chat section let me see in the chat section majority wins if you need some break do let me know if you want to continue do let me know do let me know in the chat section kids everyone 
write down dot break dot break okay deep shika is writing no break pandu no yes athila athiha i will cover each and everything i will go with each and everything continue no break so maximum students are going with no break okay so most of the students they are fully energetic so finally kids majority wins no break okay so see kids general reaction and mechanism see what is the general reaction this is benzene everyone just see this is benzene and there is one enu in e and nu the cold war was going on e was having positive charge and nu was having negative charge this is the hero and this is the heroine and now my dear students you know hero likes heroine and heroine likes hero but they are afraid of saying to each and to each and other right each and other they are afraid of saying anything so there is one entry of villain then there is fight and the hero will start bleeding and then the story <laughs> love story will start now my dear students see there is one catalyst as the villain catalyst will act as the villain catalyst that is lewis acid lewis acid it could be anhydrous alcl3 or it can be fecl3 or it can be h plus or it can be bf3 or it can be BeCl2 or it can be ZnCl2, but most frequently you will see anhydrous AlCl3. Anhydrous AlCl3. Then the product will be like this. Catalyst will come back in its original shape, size, and concentration, and this will get formed. Now the question arises. How this has happened now I will tell you this mechanism takes place in main three steps remember that this mechanism or this reaction takes place in main three steps in main three steps three steps okay kids this reaction will take place in main three steps so everyone is ready kids now let's understand step number one remember that this is very very important kids very very important step number one just see step number one step number one that is generation of an electrophile remember this each and every step is very very important generation of an electrophile an electrophile how the electrophile is getting generated see this is being e and nu whether the cold war is going on or not going on doesn't matter the anhydrous AlCl3 will come. Now just think, think about AlCl3. Aluminium's atomic number is 13. So in the outermost orbit, aluminium is having how many electrons? Aluminium will be having three electrons right now. And after combining with Cl, it will have six electrons in the outermost orbit kids can you understand six electrons only six electrons only six electrons so it is being electron deficient it is in what it is being electron deficient and the one who is 
being electron deficient will ask for electron. So, this is asking, hey Nu, please give your electrons to me. I want your electrons, I am interested in your electrons, but Nu will say, no, I will not give you electrons. Now, if you really in need of electron, just accept me. So, aluminum just in search of electron, tempted towards electron, accepted Nu and Nu has gone along with aluminum and it has formed AlCl3 Nu. Aluminum was very, very small in size. So, aluminum's mother said, hey, Veera, what you have done? You are very, very small in size. You can't handle four valency. You can't handle four valency. Why you have done just for the sake of electron? You have accepted one nu. You won't be able to manage this nu. But aluminum saying, okay, mama, I will do something. This is the first step. E plus has been generated. And in this way, electrophile has been generated. And this is the first step. I hope the first step is very much clear to each and everyone how the electrophile has been generated. Now, see the second step, step number two. This step is really very, very important and holds a whole lot of weightage. Step number two, very, very important step. Slowest step, RDS, rate determining step. Attack of an electrophile, attack of an electrophile on benzene. Let's see, my dear friends, this step why it is being very, very important. See, this is being benzene. And benzene was very happy. Why benzene was very happy? It was spreading aroma, aroma, aroma because it was following Huckel's rule and it was planar. Planar Huckel's rule, it was highly stable. These six pi electrons were providing aromaticity and that's why this was living very happily. One day, this electrophile has come, electrophile, this electrophile, earlier this electrophile was living very happily with Nu, but now Nu has gone from the life of this E, now E is in search of electron and E has come over here. Benzene asked, hey E, what happened to you? You are not like this. Why you are just moving round, round, round? My house is saying, hey, benzene, I'm interested in your electrons. Benzene is saying, hey, buddy, just go, po, 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 poda, just go, go, go away. I can't give my electrons. I'm being aromatic because of my electrons. How can I give you my electrons? E plus is saying, hey, benzene, whatever the time is required, I will wait, but I will attack on your electrons and one day, I will be able to create polarity and that has happened one day after a long period of time due to van der Waals forces. It has created charge and attacked on benzene. Benzene started crying, hey, you have broken my aromaticity. No more I am being aromatic. 6 pi electron, right now I am having only 4 pi electrons. So, people will say, oh, you have become anti-aromatic. No, no, no. This carbon is sp3 hybridized. So, I am non-planar. And non-planar are non-aromatic. Still resonance is there from this place. From this place to this place, still resonance is there, stabilized by resonance, but it has lost its aromaticity. Aromatic compounds are highly stable. 
this was highly stable but my dear students no more stability is going to work this was highly stable highly stable now it has converted into unstable compound so definitely this backward direction is more forward direction is less this is less this is being forward and this is backward is coming more molecules are coming towards backward direction only very few are going towards forward direction so this is being the slowest step and slowest step is rds now my dear students if you see and if you're comfortable with this second step baba is going to tell you about the third step ready everyone everyone ready and my dear student listen to it carefully then only you will be able to answer all the questions now see in the step number three just focus this is e this is plus charge here the double bond double bond this carbocation is known as sigma complex in the ncrt it is given sigma complex or arenium ion complex arenium ion complex now my dear students if you see these hydrogens yellow hydrogens these are known as vinylic hydrogens vinylic but if you look at this hydrogen this is allylic allylic are very good living group and this e is also allylic there NU is not feeling good with ALCl3 and ALCl3's mother is saying hey ALCl3 just remove NU you can't handle four valencies you are very small so now in this step you can see NU is going along with this H plus NU negative is going along with H plus and H plus has donated electron to this benzene and this will get negative charge now definitely this step is generally fast why i am writing generally fast yes my dear there is twist this is only the step which is going to give negative marks or positive marks now negative and positive they have formed the bond and in this way the reaction got completed everyone is able to understand my dear students these three steps are you able to understand first of all show me some symbol in the chat section let me check it out whether all these three steps are clear to all of you or not halogenation heading why the halogenation heading is there let me seek its general mechanism after this, I will tell you halogenation. This is the general mechanism. General mechanism. This was the general mechanism. Okay. Very good. Very good. I can see in the chat section that this is clear and what you are writing. Yes, Eshnath, Victor, and Tha. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Now, see kids. Now, everyone see to it. Remember that if I talk about second step and third step, see kids. Second step and third step. Second step is always slow step, is always. Slowest step, but if I talk about third step, third step gets third step. This is really amazing. Third step is 
past irreversible just listen carefully irreversible for chlorination bromination nitration is fast irreversible for these three reactions remember that for these three reactions but kids do remember do remember for iodination and sulfonation iodination and sulfonation third step is fast reversible and rate determining step sorry kids i have written that fast this is slow this is slow slow reversible and rds now in this way you can see what i want to tell you kids these two points i'm telling you now see what information you are able to get from these two points that for iodination and sulfonation how many rate determining steps are there if you are able to understand do let me know for iodination and sulfonation clear cut we are getting for iodination and sulfonation for iodination and sulfonation there are two rate determining steps there are what kids there are two rds that is second step as well as third step that is second as well as third step i hope that this line is clear to all my dear students everyone is able to understand this line kids do let me know this point is very much clear to all of you and definitely number of questions will come from here and these will be the rank deciding questions rank deciding questions now see kids first of all let me teach halogenation if i talk about halogenation my dear students very fantastic thing is that number of questions will come from halogenation number of questions will come from halogenation and halogenation fluorine is most reactive fluorine is highly reactive remember that fluorine is highly reactive highly reactive then chlorine then bromine and then iodine is too slow how to learn it otherwise so we know very well that who is more reactive who is less reactive but then also in my time f means father whenever we were going to shopping generally we avoid shopping with father in my time i am telling you this is for me i don't know today's time father was very reactive do this fast do that fast do the shopping very fast sometimes explosive can't be controlled so we were never going with father for the shopping kids i don't know i'm not saying anything about you today's father got changed but in my time in my time too much reactive reactivity can't be controlled reactivity can't be controlled sometimes explosive also sometimes explosive also 
Now, my dear students, fluorobenzene can't be prepared by this method. Now, the examiner will ask, how will you prepare fluorobenzene? If you can't prepare fluorobenzene by this method, then how will you prepare fluorobenzene? Then the answer is given on page number 397, old NCRT and 405, new NCRT. What the answer? Answer is benzene diazonium chloride will be used. Benzene diazonium chloride this will react with HBF4 plus heat first it will react with HBF4 to give benzene diazonium fluoroborate and that on heating will convert into Fluorobenzene, and this is known as Balch-Schumann reaction. Balch-Schumann reaction. This is the way how can you prepare fluorobenzene? That benzene diazonium chloride and benzene diazonium chloride is unstable. This benzene diazonium chloride can be prepared from aniline by reacting with NaNO2 HCl 0 to 5 degrees Celsius ice cold solution. Highly unstable. Kids, are you getting my point? So, I was telling you this thing. So, fluorobenzene, fluorobenzene and bromobenzene, they got same mechanism, same mechanism, same mechanism. Now, the question, how the question will come, see kids, how the question will come. Everyone just see, just look, just look. This is your benzene and if I say this is chlorine, chlorine, can you see chlorine? Benzene plus chlorine, this is your benzene plus greenish yellow gas, chlorine. And there is anhydrous AlCl3 and there is product chlorobenzene. Just see to it, kids. Just see to it. HCl and catalyst. What would have happened? If I am writing like this, do let me know. What do you think? What is the starting three points? First point, anhydrous AlCl3 must have attack on this chloride and in this way chloride plus would have been generated the second plus chloride plus must have attacked on benzene slowly slowly rate determining step intermediate carbocation would have been formed and in the third step allylic hydrogen would have gone along with cl negative in this way, the reaction would have been completed. Now, if I write excess of chlorine, what do you think would you get? 6 times Cl2 or it could be written excess of chlorine. What will you get, kids? Do let me know. Now, the ball is in your coat. What will you get? You will get compound like this. What is the general name of this compound? Do let me know in the chat section. What is the general name of this compound? I want to see in the chat section. What is the general name of this compound? The second compound. This is the first reaction. This is being the second reaction. I want to see in the chat section. What is the general name of this compound, kids? Do let me know in the chat section. Baba is waiting. Do let me know. Yes, kids. What is the general name? Deep Shika is writing hexachlorobenzene. Antriksh is writing HCB. Pandu is also writing HCB. Very good kid. You have not been trapped. And uh, Pandu changed answer. Pandu has gone for BHC. Pandu, you are very good student, but you got trapped. 
you got trapped it is not bhc remember that it's not bhc it is just hexachlorobenzene and here only the examiner will play the examiner will play this is not bhc remember that this is not bhc so let me tell you my dear students why you people are getting failed just see if the benzene is given and three moles of cl2 is being used and 500 degree celsius temperature or sunlight or h nu is given then what you will get see kids what you will get you will get compound like this h cl h cl h cl h cl h cl h cl just see this is c6 h6 cl6 triple six and here the attack on pi bond has taken place pi bonds lost pi bonds being lost pi bonds have been lost now pi bonds have been lost that means aromaticity have been lost aromaticity has been lost there the compound was still aromatic here the compound is still aromatic aromatic just see here the compound is still aromatic and this is example of electrophilic substitution reaction but there it has lost pi bond and it is not esr it is not esr because the attack has taken place on double bonds it is free radical addition reaction remember that it is f r a r free radical addition reaction it is free radical addition reaction free radical addition reaction now my dear student that's why in this reaction this reaction is carried out in dark in dark and at low temperature at cold conditions cold conditions this reaction now if sunlight is provided h new or uv rays uv rays have been provided addition reaction will take place and it has lost its aromaticity number of times they will ask you this question in assertion and reasoning in aims in iit already this question has been asked that this is bhc what is the full form of bhc benzene hexachloride benzene hexachloride now kids students are thinking bhc benzene hexachloride the name is benzene hexachloride so definitely there should be benzene but they don't know or they forget about that there is no benzene no benzene it's not benzene it's not benzene then why its name is benzene hexachloride because its father the reactant is being benzene that's why this is the journal name it's not iupac name iupac name will be one two three four five six hexachlorocyclohexane remember that it's not having round circle so how will you remember the full form of bhc one topper students he has made that full form of bhc see what one student of our batch but without having but without having conjugation 
conjugation without having conjugation the full form of this will remind you that what be but without having having conjugation there is no conjugation so it's not benzene what question has been asked question was given that benzene hexachloride asserts in reasoning ar benzene hexachloride is aromatic people will say yes because it follows Huckel's rule and planity rule, people will say, yes, I have done it, I have done it. But my dear students, it's not aromatic and it's another name is gamexene. Gamexene, powder and insecticide. Insecticide. And it's another name is lindane. L-I-N-D-A-N-E, lindane. These are the names. Remember that, take care of this. So now, Baba is going to give you a question. Just see. Here is the question. Just see, kids, and try to do it. Let me check it out. Who is going to give the correct answer? No hurry. Take care while giving answer, kids. Take care. Yes, kids, do let me know. What's your answer? I'm waiting for your answer. Swami Hassan, yes, I do remember. Antraksh is going for C, Pandu is going for D. Some are going for C, some are going for D. Chlorine is the reagent. Victor in Tha is going for D, kids. Some are going for D, some are going for C. That is, JK is going for D. Filthy Dates is going for D, kids. Just check it out. What should be the correct answer? Everyone. Just check it out. What should be the correct answer? Now, computer, just show the correct answer. Computer ji, just show the correct answer. Then same. Oh no, C is the correct answer. It's why the C is the correct answer. I can't understand. My dear friends. I too can't understand why C is the correct answer. C. We know that, we know very well that carbon to protium bond length is too much. Weak bond, bond length is more. So bond strength is less. And if I talk about carbon to deuterium, bond length is less. So bond strength is more. But my dear students, but my dear students, you see, for chlorination, which step is rate determining? The breaking of carbon to hydrogen the breaking of carbon to hydrogen that is taking place in third step for chlorination carbon hydrogen bond was breaking in third step and third step was not the rate determining for chlorination, bromination, nitration. This was the first step. And the rate determining step for this reaction was second step. And in the second step, the electrophile was attacking on benzene ring. So, 
there will be no change in the rate everyone is able to understand kids do let me know is everyone able to understand is everyone able to understand kids do let me know that that's why rate is approximately equal it can be given like this or kh will be equal to kd it can be given like this or kh by kd will be approximately equal to 1 or it can be given like that will not show isotopic effect now my dear students if the same question would have been given for sulfonation and iodination then what should be the answer for sulfonation and iodination if the same question would have been given then r1 should have been greater than r2 are you getting my point kids everyone getting my point now after this let me move towards nitration are you ready for the nitration everyone is everyone ready for the nitration my dear friends do let me know i want to see in the chat section very very important that in nitration there is benzene ring now this benzene will react with nitrating mixture what is a nitrating mixture kids nitrating mixture nitrating mixture is concentrated HNO3 plus concentrated H2SO4 but remember that in this HNO3 act as base then it will ask this question this act as an acid this you will come to know when I am going to tell you the mechanism so they will together produce the actual electrophile that is NO2 plus that is known as nitronium ion nitronium ion this is the actual electrophile and how it is going to be generated that I will let you know kids so in this way you will get nitrobenzene plus H2SO4 now H2SO4 we got back that's really awesome plus H2O now kids let me tell you the mechanism of first step is everyone ready that is really very very important and then you will be able to do one question based on that now see kids the mechanism of first step how the electrophile is generated HNO3 is saying I am acid H2SO4 is saying I am acid and benzene is saying oh I am not interested in anyone's proton so H2SO4 saying H2SO4 saying that let me donate my proton I am being a strong acid and what I will do I will not talk I will directly donate proton now who is going to accept the proton given by h2so4 kids do let me know benzene is saying hey baba i'm to not don't i'm to not interested in anyone's proton i'm inert now who will accept definitely kids no2 oh this is hno3 and the one who was acid but in front of stronger acid it has started acting as base you see big fish is going to eat smaller fish prey and predator even the smaller fish was eating something else that was acting as predator but in front of big fish that predator is acting as a prey are you getting my point kids now this is accepting proton so acting as a base now after accepting that proton it will get converted into what it will get converted into no2 o positive h and h now oxygen will say oh i am to not able to bear out this positive charge i can't tolerate this positive charge so we will 
also say what? That oxygen is saying, I'm not going to tolerate this, bear out this positive charge. We will say, okay, we have to remove out water. We will remove this water. Water has gone. Once the water has gone, kids, this NO2 will develop positive charge and water. Now, let me summarize all these steps. What we are having then just see this h plus this so what is left kids we are with h2so4 hno3 giving out hso4 negative giving out NO2 plus, giving out water. Now see kids, this reaction is reversible. Why this is going more towards forward direction? This, type, this side only two types of molecules. That side we are having three types of molecules. So the entropy is getting increased. Delta S is coming positive for this reaction. So, the reaction will go in the forward direction. Now, whenever the reaction is reversible, one scientist, Lee Chatelier, will start shouting, Hey, tell them about me, Lee Chatelier. Lee Chatelier's principle. So, if we take more reactant, we'll get more product. So, to get more nitronium ion, we have to use more concentrated HNO3 and H2SO4. Are you getting my point? Now, my dear student. Now, what type of question will be asked on this? You just see. Just see this. And then I am going to show you the question. The question will be asked like this. See. This question has been asked in IIT, NEET, AIMS, number of times, number of places. This question has been asked. Now, do let me know what should be the correct answer for this. Do let me know, my dear student. I am waiting for your answer. Baba is waiting for your answer, kids. Let me check. Everyone is going for B. Everyone is going for B. Let me check it out. The correct answer. Wow, kids. You're rocking. You're really awesome. Your 99% questions were going in the right direction. And why? If you are using excess of KHSO4, that means that is going to give you HSO4 negative. And HSO4 negative, if you see in this reaction, it was here. It was at this place. And this will come backward direction by take NO2 plus. In this way, NO2 plus concentration will get decreased. And this reaction will go in the backward direction. So you will get less nitronium ion. And less nitronium ion will give less nitration. That's really awesome. Now, my dear students. Now, question arises, if H2SO4 is not being used, if only HNO3 is used, then nitration will take place or not because this is given in phenol chapter, class 12th NCRT part 2. If only, what will happen if, if only HNO3 is used, will the nitration take place? Question is, if only HNO3 is used, then will the nitration take place? Do let me know in the chat section. Will the nitration take place? What's your answer, kids? Will the nitration take place? Then the answer is answer is 
everyone is writing no but the answer is yes of course yes yes answer is yes now kids everyone got failed every one of you got failed in this question it will take place it is given in class 12th ncrt phenol if you are using concentrated hno3 and concentrated h2so4 then explosion will take place and less yield will be obtained and if you are using just hno3 not h2so4 you will get orthonitrophenol and paranitrophenol then hydrogen bonding one is high melting solid one is volatile liquid if you remember kids so they haven't used h2so4 at that place so how the nitration will take place just see you are using hno3 hno3 will act as an acid it will donate proton so one molecule of hno3 will act an acid another molecule of hno3 will act as base same HNO3 is acting as an acid as well as base. That's why X is of X is of HNO3. We have to take. We have to take X is of HNO3 kits. I think you have never seen this reaction properly, and that's why you got failed. That's why you got failed. Let me summarize it. And then let's see. This will get cancelled out. Will get cancelled out. What do you have got? I have got two moles of concentrated HNO3. Will give you NO3 negative. NO2 positive plus water. Now, this reaction because this is weak acid, not that much strong acid as compared to H2SO4. So, this equilibrium will lie more in the backward direction. That is the problem. Its equilibrium will lie more in the backward direction and will go less in the forward direction. Are you getting my point, kids? So, less amount of NO2 plus is obtained. Got it. If you want to get less amount of nitronium ion, if you want to do slowly less nitration, better to use this. And phenol is highly ring activating group. That's why there the reaction is required to be slow, little bit slow. And they are using dilute HNO3. Are you getting my point, kids? First of all, let me see in the chat section that I Dhanvant. Welcome, Antriksh, you got it. Pandu, JK, yes, of course. JK, yes, Baba got it. Very good, kids. Very good. That's really awesome. That's really awesome. How my dear straight. This was million dollar question, and we should know one mole is acting as an acid, another mole is acting as a base. That this question can be used during this nitration. One is acting as an acid, another mole is acting as a base. After this nitration. This we have done. Sulfonation. Here is sulfonation. I'm not going to take too much time after sulfonation, Friedel craft, alkylation, Friedel craft, acylation, coupling reaction, and then only a bit less time we are going to use. But kids, those who are new, hit the like button. Kids, first of all, do let me know how much you are enjoying it. I want to see your comments. Write down properly, write down. Uh, straight forward. I don't want my appreciation, but Baba has given you questions. Baba done lot of Baba has done really hard work. Now, kids, do let me know how much you are liking and can you see the real efforts, new questions, NCRT line questions? Really are enjoying it. You are liking it. How much you are enjoying it? How much you are liking it? I want to see your comments right now. Then definitely I will see in the comment section, but right now in the live chat, I want to see. Dinner break. Okay. How many of you want a bit break? Dinner break. It's this is a time to give you dinner break. You yeah, this is a time for dinner break. Even Baba can have dinner, but 
only in that condition you will come with same energy then only baba is going to give you dinner break kits promise make a promise that you are going to come with the same energy kits wow antriksh very good pandu yes but mechanism whatever the mechanism i am telling you that is important ilamathi no words hat you baba ji thank you breaks your awesome lecture god up i you see you see oh my god pandu that's really awesome prina okay kids but everyone kids dinner is very very important thing everyone you can have dinner and let's meet at 10 10 okay thank you deep deepshika thank you jdss thank you let's meet at 10 10 okay will you come with the same energy kids even baba baba is not at home baba is taking this class from the studio and after 10 or near about 10 whatever the shops bhojanale food breaks whatever the things they are going to shut down this shutter so baba will remain hungry for the whole night day whatever the thing so kids it's better to have dinner okay will you come with the same energy kids will you come with the same energy everyone promise make a promise Marilyn Priscilla, I'm attending your class for the first time, sir. Initially, I took a little time to cope up, but once up, but the pace feels relieving to know that I'm understanding every bit. Thank you, sir. Antrich, online, I don't have anything for online. Thank you, Ilamathi. Thank you, thank you. Okay, everyone. Yeah, everyone's promise is there. Thank you, thank you, kids. We'll meet at ten ten. okay kids okay thank you but come with the same energy right
वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स बाबा हैज कम वन मिनट बिफोर तो आई एम इन टाइम कैन यू सी किट्स आई एम इन टाइम नॉट इवन अ सिंगल मिनट लेट माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स तो लेट मी वेट फॉर वन मिनट फॉर अदर स्टूडेंट्स Let me see. Is everyone with full-on energy? Yeah. Antrich is there. Sai Anjana. Christography. All my dear friends. Really awesome. Really awesome. Dear friends, I can see. Ilamathi. Chandri Sikhar is there. Bala is there. Well, wow, that's really fantastic. Princess is there. Hello, hello, hello. So let's start. Let's set go. Everyone, I think everyone is ready. So let's set go. Are you ready? If everyone is ready, Baba well, want to see fire in the chat section. That yes, that is indication indication of that. Yes, everyone is ready. With full on ATPs energies. Glycolysis must have taken place, so I can see all my dear friends, fire and hearts in the chat section that is indicating that yes, that everyone is ready for sulfonation. Sulfonation really awesome, really it holds a whole lot of weightage. We have to see what is sulfonation. Just see my dear friends, here is being benzene. This is being benzene. And if it is reacting with two moles of concentrated H2SO4, two moles of what? Concentrated H2SO4. Why I'm saying that H2SO4 has been taken two moles, or you can say excess of H2SO4. If it is given excess of H2SO4, then also it is correct. We will come to know why excess of H2SO4 has been taken. Now, my dear friends, you will get benzene sulfonic acid, benzene sulfonic acid, SO3H, benzene sulfonic acid, along with, along with H2SO4 plus water. My dear friends, this H2SO4 plus water can also be written as dilute H2SO4. Some people, if they are writing it dilute H2SO4, then also it is being correct. Dilute H2SO4, then also it is being correct. Dilute H2SO4. There is no problem in writing dilute H2SO4, H2SO4. Once the H2SO4 is going inside the water, definitely it has to become dilute. Now, if they are going to use what? Which reagent? Let me tell you, my dear friend, if they are going to use oleum, then oleum will be better. Oleum is better sulfonating agent. Now, why? Why oleum is better sulfonating agent? This is the million dollar question. Now, if we see the mechanism how H2SO4 is going to act, how it is going to produce attacking agent, then definitely we are going to understand why oleum is better sulfonating agent. Is everyone ready? Now let's see the mechanism. Let's focus on the mechanism. Now both are being H2SO4. If I say one H2SO4 is saying, I will donate my proton. Now, once it is going to donate its proton, my dear friend, what do you think? Is the benzene going to accept its proton? Answer is no. So, how benzene can react with H plus? Benzene is inert. If you add HCl in benzene, benzene will say, no, I am not interested. So, HCl is not acid in benzene. HCl is not acid in air. There should be someone to accept the proton. So who is going to accept proton? It has donated its proton. 
so definitely someone will be there to accept its proton no one else is there so he himself h2so4 will himself accept its own proton so one molecule is acting as an acid another one is acting as a base you are able to understand i hope that everyone is able to understand now it will be like this these reactions are being reversible reversible hso3 o positive h2 now my dear student oxygen got positive charge oxygen will say i can't bear out this positive charge i can't tolerate so we will also say oh we have to remove what water so in the next step we will remove water from this hso3 o positive h2 so this oxygen will go by taking electron of this it will get converted into hso3 plus now this molecule saying i got positive charge even i can't bear out this positive charge okay you also remove its charge who is going to take its proton definitely water is there in the solution hso3 plus will react with water and water will get converted into hydronium ion and this will produce so3 now you can understand now you can understand why oleum is better sulfonating agent it will give an idea about it it will give an idea about it just see what is cancelled out this h plus is getting cancelled out with this h plus this is moving along with this one this is going deleted everyone got deleted now what is being left just see who is being left over here h2so4 h2so4 two moles of concentrated h2so4 now this site water 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 is here and anyone can you see this is eliminating out as water this has gone as water so water has cancelled out with water water has gone with water so on the product side you will see so3 gas is there hso4 negative is there and h3o plus is being there can you see kids now in these many four steps we got sulfur trioxide gas but in oleum so3 gas is already there no need to prepare so3 gas when so3 gas is already over there that is better sulfonating agent now see if I tell you oleum, what is being oleum? Oleum is also known as fuming H2SO4, my dear friend. It is known as fuming H2SO4. This is also known as pyrosulfuric acid. Pyrosulfuric acid. Now, oleum, how oleum is formed when X is of SO3 reacts with water water is being limiting reagent limiting reagent if you apply mole concept this is a limiting reagent then they will give you h2so4 as liquid and so3 was in excess this will remain as a gas so in h2so4 liquid solution there is gas so3 just like in limca bottle pepsi bottle thumbs up bottle there is carbon dioxide which is henry's law applied that it will remain inside the solution as well as the top of solution it will be there now this is oleum if you combine it h2 s2 o7 is there can you see kids everyone can you see now kids are you there is everyone there kids is everyone there do let me know everyone able to understand show me the thumbs up if everyone is able to understand show me the thumbs up kids now this is the sulfonation now my dear students if anyone is going to give you question on sulfonation just see the question how the question will come that this is benzene sulfonic acid and if it is going to react with dilute h2so4 dilute h2so4 my dear students now you will say 
whether it is ortho paradiacting meta diacting people will start thinking in this way but my dear students let me tell you that this is just the reverse of sulfonation we will get benzene plus h2so4 now if anyone is doing nitration of this nitration so people will start thinking that it is meta director so where no2 no my dear student this bond is weak bond this bond is being weak bond so it will break and no2 will come over there no2 will occupy its position its position and this is the way picric acid is prepared if you go to the chapter phenol in phenol chapter you will see that what they have done first they have reacted benzene with this phenol with sulfuric acid concentrated h2so4 this reaction is being reversible you got so3h at two places so3h so3h gets this is sterically hindered so third position will remain ortho position will remain like this now you do nitration nitrating mixture you use nitrating mixture and now this bond is being weak this will break and no2 will come and join all the three positions but this reaction is reversible so it will take some time to occupy the position left by so3h so in this way you can get picric acid the acid without having any carboxylic acid group picric acid 246 trinitrophenol tnp246 trinitrophenol you got it so this was sulfonation now baba is going to tell you friedel craft alkylation friedel craft acylation and intramolecular friedel craft intramolecular friedel craft acylation everyone ready kids is everyone ready now let me see what's your pdf yeah definitely i will share the pdf don't worry i will share the pdf don't worry don't worry baba will share the pdf now friedel craft alkylation secrets friedel craft alkylation this is benzene just see this is benzene this is rx where x is chlorine bromine iodine but x should not be fluorine because carbon carbon bond is very strong bond anhydrous alcl3 now my dear student what is going to happen just see to it what is going to happen this x negative will go along with anhydrous and r plus will get generated now this is being carbocation and carbocation wherever the carbocation is formed always think about rearrangement always think about what always think about rearrangement i have to tell you what is rearrangement otherwise you won't be able to understand how to do rearrangement what to do in rearrangement just see you will get alcl3 and you will get hcl now my dear student what type of rearrangement will take place we have to understand otherwise our studies are not complete so is everyone ready my dear students let me tell you what are type of rearrangements then only we can do such type of questions types of rearrangement okay types of rearrangement first one is in this the first one is very very important one two hydride shift one two hydride shift what is the meaning of one two means from one carbon to another carbon just see if you are provided with carbocation like this
Now, whenever you see the stability of carbocation, always apply one funda. What is that funda? Baba has told you the fundamental thing. That fundamental thing is Rahis. R H I S. Resonance. Then hyperconjugation. Then inductive effect. Then percentage of S character. Are you getting my point? So, is this compound having resonance? No. Hyperconjugation? Yes. One hydrogen, three hydrogens. So, stabilized by hyperconjugation. Four alpha hydrogen atoms, three over here, one at this place. This is alpha carbon, this is alpha carbon. Inductive effect, yes, stabilized by inductive effect. It is attached with two carbon, one on right hand side, one on left hand side. So, two degree. Now, this carbocation is thinking if this hydrogen, if it is shifting from this carbon to this carbon, Shifting, why the shifting is going to take place? If you are feeling hot, you will turn out your sleeps. If you are feeling cold, less temperature, then you will take out your shirt like this, not the shirt, jacket, hood like this. And the jacket's portion like this, like this. Rearrangement. Sometimes if you remember your school time, your sweater was coming from here and you were tying at this place. Rearrangement. We are getting a stability through rearrangement. We will do rearrangement. So, if this hydride is shifting, this will look like this carbocation. Just see kids. Hydrogen has been shifted. So, one hydrogen has come at this place. Now, this carbocation, alpha carbon, alpha carbon, alpha carbon. How many alpha hydrogens are there? Just see. Alpha carbon, alpha carbon, alpha carbon. The carbon which is directly attached to this carbon are alpha carbon. 3, 3 and 2. 3 plus 3 plus 2. 8 alpha hydrogen atoms. Can you see? Stabilized by hyperconjugation and it is better stabilized by this. It was just having 4 alpha hydrogens and it is having 8 alpha hydrogens. This is being stabilized by inductive effect because it is attached with three carbons so three degree so definitely my dear friends the carbocation which is more stable will be more formed i'm not saying this is more stable so this is the only carbocation which is going to get formed the more stable more formed more responsible for major product everyone getting more stable more formed more responsible for major product i hope this is clear to all of you and kids must be thinking why only hydride why not methyl has been shifted see kids why methyl has not been shifted let me tell you kids. if methyl is shifting which is not going to shift then this carbocation would have been like this. Methyl has gone over here. Now, this carbocation is having 3 and 1, 4 alpha hydrogen will be like this only, same. So, this is not going to happen. That whenever hydrogen is there, hydride shift will be there. That you have to keep it in your brain. Once the hydrogen is there, hydride shift, not the methyl shift. Now, let me tell you when methyl shift is going to take place. 1, 2, methyl shift, just see kids, 1, 2, methyl shift. If the compound is given like this, CH3, 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 CH positive, CH3, this carbocation is finding unstable so this will say hey methyl come along with electron and join me let's see what is going to get formed kids ch3 c positive ch3 ch ch3 and the methyl which has shifted is over here now see this carbocation newly formed carbocation is more stable than this you see three only three alpha hydrogen. It was just having three alpha hydrogen atoms. Can you see it's three alpha hydrogen atoms? So stabilized by hyperconjugation. 
it is attached with two more carbons so two degree stabilized by inductive effect but if you talk about this you can clearly say that stabilized by hyperconjugation how many alpha hydrogen this is alpha this is alpha this is alpha one three 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 six one seven alpha hydrogen atoms and stabilized by inductive effect what is the degree one two three carbons three degree this is in better condition the more stable more fond more responsible for product formation now my dear students after this there is ring expansion and number of students they are having problem in ring expansion this is very very important let me tell you third one is being ring expansion holds a hell lot of weightage ring expansion kits first thing remember that four membered ring will try to convert into five membered and five membered ring will try to convert into six membered because the stability of six membered ring is more than five membered and that is little bit more than seven membered now three membered ring will not try to convert into four membered will not try to convert because three membered ring is stabilized by dancing resonance is having dancing resonance and if I say the four membered ring will convert into three membered ring through ring contraction then it's not wrong ring contraction now let me tell you the rules how and when when ring expansion will take place it's remember that if the charge is on the ring itself the charge is on the ring itself no ring expansion will take place remember that when the charge is on the ring itself no ring expansion what I'm saying when the charge is on the ring itself then no ring expansion then no ring expansion then when the ring expansion will take place Baba is going to tell you kids everyone ready with full energy just see then you will understand why when the charge is on ring expansion why the ring expansion can't take place let me tell you if the ring is like this if i would have been if i would have been carpenter then what i would have done i have shifted this this slide this slide from this position and there i have nailed it but i am not carpenter if I would have been tailor then I must have cut it from here and stitching should be done but I am a chemistry teacher now what chemistry teacher will do see kids let me tell you this is an electron and the lower carbon is saying upper carbon he is talking to upper carbon that I am going to withdraw your electron and I will get negatively charged can you see kids this is breaking its bond and it is going to accept and that is donor this is acceptor now see how they will look like after breaking of bond it will look like this although this position is highly unstable so this carbon from this side it is breaking its bond and it is making its bond with that carbon this these two things are taking place simultaneously this is electron triangle like in movies love triangle here is being electron triangle simultaneous breaking and making of bond simultaneous bob and mob bob 
and mob. What is the meaning of bob and mob? Breaking of bond and making of bond. Now, this is five membered ring, it is six membered ring. So, this bond will get matured and it will look like this. You can see very clearly that this new bonding has been formed. Let me show you with some other marker that this is the new bond which has been formed. Either you can write like this or you can write it like this or you can write it in the chair form like this. They all are being equally correct. Can you see kids? They all are three. These all three are being same. Identical. Carbocations. Now my dear students, if this much is clear, show me the thumbs up or the hearts of fire. One more very important example of ring expansion I would like to show you because if rank deciding question is going to come, you will get stuck. This is plus. Here is positive charge. Now, once again, the bond will break from here. This will get negative charge, this will get positive charge, and the bond will get formed over here. Just see, kids. CH2 negative. CH positive, CH3, and here is the positive charge. From one side, the bond is broken up, and other side, the bond is getting formed. Can you see? That is electronic triangle. Now, you just see it. This bond will get matured. Just see. This is the newly formed bond. This is the newly formed bond. You can see very clearly. And here is the positive charge. Let me write down like this or let me write down it like this in this way. Now, there are 100 molecules, not 100 only. There will be infinite molecules because one mole is having 6.023 into 10 square. 23 molecules. So, some molecules will be doing something, some molecules will be just like if you consider 1000 people in the marriage party, there is plate, there is salad, there is fruit chart, number of things. Some are enjoying papad, some are enjoying fruit chart, some are having gulgappa, some are having rasugulla, mithai, sweets, number of things. Some are having tea, coffee, but mostly the people are taking plates, salad, chutney, pickle, then paneer, rice, biryani, tomato rice, like that. So, most of the people will be following this rule, six-membered ring, wow, six-membered ring, they are enjoying six-membered ring, we got party, six-membered ring is stable, but some are saying, oh, after having good food, let's enjoy ice cream also. So, they, right now, this is secondary two-degree carbocation and they are saying, if by chance this hydride is going to get shifted at this place, definitely we would be more satisfied that six membered ring and three degree carbocation. This is three degree with six membered ring. So, this is the happiest carbocation most stable carbocation. So, this will be responsible for major answer. If everyone is able to understand, do let me know kids. This, this one, everyone got it. Otherwise, I will explain again. Don't worry kids. Baba is here to take care of each and everyone. Baba will explain again if you are not able to understand. Kids, do let me know. Is everyone able to understand? in the chat section. I want to see in the chat section that everyone is able to understand kids. Do let me know. Baba has tried his efforts, but if everyone is not able to understand, Baba will let you know again. Baba will tell you again. Don't worry kids. And 
smash the like button make it 300 now so let me go back to the friedel craft alkylation to see i was over here and if you are getting compound like this just see everyone this is n propyl chloride just see to it and n propyl chloride and hydrous alcl3 just see anhydrous alcl3 is going to take this chloride you will get positive charge and this is going to give this carbocation my dear friends now what type of shifting will take place do you think ring expansion oh already i have done kids ch2 ch2 plus now this time you can see this is the carbocation is stabilized by hyperconjugation just in the neighbor of this carbon there is carbon alpha carbon 2 alpha hydrogen atom it is attached this is attached only with one carbon so stabilized by inductive effect that is one degree carbocation now my dear friends one two hydride shift means from here hydrogen is going to shift one two hydride shift and this will give you ch3 ch plus ch3 this is stabilized by hyperconjugation three and three six alpha hydrogen atoms can you see kits and it's stabilized by inductive effect two degree because the carbon holding plus charge is attached with two more carbons so this is more stable more attack on benzene so now you can see very clearly my dear student what answer you are going to get you will get this benzene this n propyl carbocation whether this oh whether this one is given or this one is given both will provide you the same answer same answer and hydrous alcl3 this will involve one two hydride shift this will directly form so both are going to give you same answer and that answer is known as you mean you mean this is very very important kids very very important name is you mean remember that it is known as q mean very very important name to mean otherwise you can say isopropyl benzene everyone can understand what is isopropyl benzene but q mean is very very important name so remember this my dear friends this is written in most of the books but if the rank deciding question they are going to ask how they will ask secrets how they will ask just see rank deciding if they are going to ask rank deciding question how they will ask secrets rdq rank deciding question rank deciding question that this was your benzene this was given the alkyl halide what product you will get definitely the major answer will be cumin that is 100 percent correct but that is the major but not only the one product along with that you will get number of other products and they are going to create history just see this one you will get now, if you see this product is having alpha hydrogen, and whenever any compound is having alpha hydrogen, that is ortho para director, that will increase the electron density at ortho and para. So, this is being ortho para director, OP director, and this thing I taught you when I was teaching you GOC. So, once again, once again, it will allow Friedel-Craft reaction to take place 
and it will allow incoming electrophile at this position this position this will come and propyl chloride will also come now my dear friends number of times rearrangement is taking place so will you get only one product answer is no sir we are not going to get only one product we are getting mixture of products and that's why friedel craft alkylation is not a good method because the yield is poor now this product and that product let me name them if i say this is x this is y x and y are rearranged product rearranged product if i talk about these these are polyalkylated product polyalkylated So, if anyone is asking why Friedel Craft alkylation is not a good method for the preparation of alkyl benzene, what do you say? Friedel Craft alkylation is not a good method. for alkyl benzene preparation for alkyl benzene preparation why kids because of two things rearranged and polyalkylation mixture of products is obtained which is not good mixture of products is obtained that is not good then how we will prepare good yield of alkyl benzene and pure alkyl benzene that i will let you know after a short not the break short time period okay now let's deal with cumin preparation because cumin is really very very important method now see how cumin can be prepared by other means cumin is very very important compound kits Cumin preparation. If I take benzene and if I react benzene with propyl alcohol, number of times these questions have been asked in AIMS and J exam. Now kits are generally getting failed in this question. Now see three types of entities are there which entity is being most unstable then the answer will be this entity is most unstable can you see kids this entity is most unstable this will yield what this will give proton and the proton will attack on the oxygen's lone pair ding 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 ta -ta -ta. now this alcohol will get converted into oxonium ion when the charge is on carbon carbonium ion when the charge is on oxygen oxonium ion now oxygen will say oh i too can't bear out this positive charge then what we will say oh we have to eliminate out water water go 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 water go water go water go water go water has gone once the water has left it kids you got carbocation and you can see this carbocation involved what if you understand one two hydride shift one and a hydride shifter so you will get more stable carbocation and this carbocation will go on benzene isopropyl carbocation and it will form cumin if this thing you are able to understand oh my god al already you have shown the hearts that's really awesome you know the drill now if anyone is going to give you this question that benzene is allowed to react with isopropyl alcohol isopropyl alcohol my dear students isopropyl alcohol then directly you can say sir we know the drill and we know the answer we will get cumin 
Now, my dear students, if anyone is going to give you a question like this, just see. This is your benzene and examiner has given you a question like this, CH3, CH double bond, CH2 propene and H positive. Now, what you will do? Once again, there are three types of entities. This H plus is having this pi electron and these pi electrons are delocalized pi electrons. And this is a localized, not I will say localized, it is doing hyperconjugation, but it is doing resonance. It is doing resonance. So it is easy to attack on this carbocation, sorry, this carbon, this is donating electron through plus I and this electron is getting shifted on this side, delta positive, delta negative, delta attack over here, you will get CH3, CH plus CH3. Once again, isopropyl and that is going to give you cumin. Now, why? Question arises, why we are interested in preparing cumin? Why the cumin, in, cumin is that much important? Who is making cumin to be that much important why the cumin is that much important let me tell you my dear students the worldwide production worldwide production of phenol is done from cumin only this has been cumin just see let me show you cumin ch ch3 ch3 now dear students this hydrogen is benzylic hydrogen remember that benzylic hydrogen is loosely bonded with benzene remember this hydrogen let me talk about this hydrogen this is benzylic hydrogen and benzylic hydrogen is loosely bonded with benzene loosely bonded now my dear students everyone will ask why sir how can you say like that this is loosely bonded. Let me tell you. Whether it is going by taking electron, losing electron, free radical, whether on this benzene there is coming free radical, just see. Then also it is going to do resonance. It is taking electron, it is coming carbocation, then also resonance. It is losing electron, then also resonance. In all the conditions, these are stabilized by resonance so that's why i'm saying this hydrogen is loosely bonded and the one who is being loosely bonded oxygen will easily remove it oxygen will easily remove it so what people have done kids they have taken benefit of this fundamental thing and they have left cumin in the free air they have left cumin in the free air they have left it in the free oxygen that is mean air and air people say that you will get aerated air will oxidize you and this got oxidized my dear what has happened just see just see to it kid. this got oxidized o o has taken the place entered air got entered and c minus one minus one peroxide linkage and this is known as cumin hydroperoxide highly unstable number of times examiner has asked this question examiner's favorite question cumin hydroperoxide highly unstable highly unstable highly unstable highly unstable Now, my dear students, it will react with water in acidic medium, water in acidic medium. Just see what is going to happen. This will get removed and you will get acetone as the side product this as the side product kits and worldwide production of phenol 
वर्ल्ड वाइड प्रोडक्शन ऑफ फिनॉल इज डन बाय दिस वर्ल्ड वाइड वर्ल्ड वाइड प्रोडक्शन Let me have a glass of water, kids. You also keep yourself hydrated. You liked it, phenol production, kids. This is the very, very repeated question, favorite question of examiner. Baba is not leaving even a single line, kids. Not even a single line. I'm telling you each and everything. Whatever is given in your NCRT and whatever is missing in your NCRT, Baba is telling you each and everything. Yes, I will let you know. Ozonolysis in benzene already I have told you. Tolins ozonolysis I will let you know. But before that, let's see before that. Now, if they are going to give you question, questions like this, see kids, questions like this. One I have done for you when I have done for you rest of the others you have to tell me reaction with methyl chloride you can easily get the answer but I want to know the answer from your side everyone just try it out first question second Third, fourth. Yes, just do it, all the four questions, then I will let you know what should be the answers, right? Do it yourself, then I will let you know what are the answers. So, you must have done in your mind or you want to do it by taking some time. Toline for first, yes, right? Toline for first. Absolutely correct. This hydrogen will go. Definitely, hydrogen will eliminate out with the CL. Absolutely correct answer. Tolling. Now the answer of second question, second one, let me see in the chat, second one. Okay, Antriksh, you have to write yes or no, okay? You can write down yes or no. Two phenyl will go with this, one phenyl, one chlorine, another phenyl, another chlorine, HCl, HCl, two HCl will eliminate out and you will get diphenyl methane. Have you got the sun circuits? Diphenyl methane. Now in this, three benzene will go and you will get triphenyl methane. Till now, is it okay with each and every one? Is it okay with each and every one? Now you must be thinking that four benzene will be there, but the answer here, this is the twist, kids. This is the twist. That 
one carbon can accommodate maximum of three phenyl rings due to steric hindrance fourth phenyl can't come kids fourth phenyl can't come so it will be the answer it will not be the four phenyl ring due to steric hindrance only three due to steric hindrance only three one benzene can hold maximum three phenyl rings clear to all of you are you able to read it out is everyone able to read or should i write once again one benzene can hold maximum three phenyl rings due to steric hindrance too much steric hindrance if you see the jar it is having three plates not more than three plates if you see the exhaust fan it is having three plates not more than three plates very good very good very good now baba is going to tell you baba is going to explain you intramolecular intramolecular fiddle craft alkylation intramolecular intramolecular just see if the compound is given like this now you can see very clearly this alcl3 will take away this chloride and there will be plus charge once the plus charge has been originated now you can see the benzene is attached to this carbon and it is attached with two alpha hydrogens which is being ortho and para direct op direct so my dear students if this carbon is going to attack on this ortho position then how many membered ring is going to get formed remember that Five membered, six membered, or seven membered. If the ring is getting formed, then only you can form the ring. Otherwise, not. Ring strain will be there. So, by the combination of this, you can see how many membered ring is going to get formed. This was already six membered, and one, two, three carbon, one carbon, two carbon, and three carbons. Three carbons, these three, and two of the benzene ring. You can see new ring is of five member. These two carbon are being common. So this is intramolecular Friedel graft alkylation. I hope that this is clear to each and everyone. Now Baba is going to shift on Friedel graft acylation. So let's see Friedel graft acylation. Is everyone ready for Friedel graft acylation? This is superior to alkylation. This method is superior to alkylation. Now, I will give you why. I will give you the answer. Superior to alkylation. Let's see, kids. Why and how? This is your benzene. And if you are going to react it with RCOX, acyl halide, this is known as acyl halide, and anhydrous aluminum chloride is going to react. Now you can see, my dear friends, this will take away this X, and here you will get positive charge R. C double bond O positive. Now rearrangement will not take place. Why the rearrangement will not take place? Rearrangement, no rearrangement. Why? See, this oxygen is having lone pair and this carbon's 2p is vacant. 2p orbital is vacant 
and it is having 2p lone pair so back bonding will take place 2p pi 2p pi back bonding stabilization are you getting my point 2p pi 2p pi back bonding stabilization that is when two atom resonance gets two atom resonance can you see kids two atom resonance so no rearrangement case this is the most important thing that no rearrangement case now once you are able to understand that no rearrangement is going to take place my dear students the second thing let me tell you this is the no rearrangement case my dear students the second thing you got the pro you will get the product like this second benefit is that this is meta director minus m group minus r group minus m minus r meta director it will not allow further acylation no further acylation no rearrangement no further acylation no further acylation so you got only one type of product but the problem is that this product is not alkyl benzene but earlier we said how to prepare alkyl benzene now the thing is that how to convert into alkyl benzene just see kids how to convert it into alkyl benzene we are having thing like this now just to convert into alkyl in place of oxygen we should have hydrogens we should have hydrogens now these are the chemicals so we have to use chemical war wolf kishner reduction wolf kishner reduction you can use kits in wolf kishner reduction what you are supposed to use you have to use hydrogen nh2 nh2 koh ethylene glycol ethylene glycol This is known as wolf kishner reduction. Now, if you don't want to use wolf kishner reduction, you can use Clemensen's reduction. What? Clemensen's reduction. Now, what is this Clemensen's reduction? Zinc amalgam HCl. You can use zinc amalgam HCl. If you don't want to use this one also, then you can use the third thing that is hi red phosphorus out of these three things this is acidic medium this is involving acidic medium this is in acidic medium but that is being basic medium, right kids so that's why it is superior now i'm going to tell you one note that is very very important but this note i will tell you after one very very important reaction for rank deciding whether it is J or NEAT. Are you ready for that? See, very very important reaction. This reaction is like this. This is your benzene and it is going to react with this special reagent. Very very special reagent. Now in this, you will get two types of products two types of products what are they These are the two types of products and EQ molar amount 50 50 percent 50 percent this 50 percent this now why this is because the stability of carbocation these two carbocations 
stability is approximately same same stability gets these two carbocations are almost of same stability till now everyone is clear kids keep yourself hydrated all my dear students just i will take some more time and then the chapter will get completed my dear student baba is not leaving even a single thing and that's why kids baba is not leaving even a single thing those who know organic chemistry they can understand baba is telling you each and everything in depth and baba is not leaving leaving even a single thing now intramolecular friedel craft acylation intramolecular intramolecular friedel craft acylation Now, as I have told you, no rearrangement. This AlCl3 will take this chloride, carbocation will form. This is alpha hydrogen, OP director. Now, OP director, so this carbocation will attack over here. You will get this ring like this, and if you carry out Wolf Kistner action or zinc amalgam HCl, then this oxygen will get converted, and this will be your final product. Can you see it? Number of times examiner has asked this type of question. I hope that everyone is able to understand. Now after this, Baba is going to tell you note, then coupling, uh, coupling will take 5 minutes, 5 to 6 minutes and then Gutterman, LDI Gutterman code means 10 to 15 minutes work is there, 10 to 15 minutes work is there, right? Just see, note. Notice aniline that is doesn't show, doesn't show Friedel craft alkylation as well as acylation alkylation as well as acylation now the question arises why why the answer is that whenever you react this aniline before reacting, let me tell you, this nitrogen is basic part, base, and benzene is nucleophilic part. So, whenever both the two possibilities are there, that the react can, reactant can show acid-base neutralization as well as electrophilic, nucleophilic substitution, always give preference to, my dear friends, always in such condition always give preference to
ABN acid base neutralization this is million dollar point kits whenever both the two type of possible reactions are there then always give acid base neutralization preference because that is fast reaction definitely it is going to take place fast my dear students so always give preference see so whenever you are going to deal with this reaction this is being aniline or you are going to do Friedel-Craft alkylation or Friedel-Craft acylation you will apply catalyst anhydrous AlCl3 and this AlCl3 is Lewis acid Lewis acid and Lewis acid will do acid based neutralization attack over there and NH2 will lose its lone pair will lose lone pair plus charge AlCl3 negative salt formation salt formation will be there And in this reaction, if you are not using anhydrous AlCl3, then this will take away its H, Cl negative will eliminate out, and you will get acetanilide, my dear students. You will get acetanilide. This is a simple acylation. This reaction has not taken place on benzene ring. If reaction is not taking place at benzene that means it's not ESR it is simple acylation it is being simple acylation simple acylation my dear it is being simple acylation the product name is acetanilide 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 it is simple acylation so one thing is that aniline will not show what Aniline will never show Friedel Craft alkylation or acylation, and all meta directing groups, meta directors will not show. Meta directors will not undergo FCA, Friedel Craft alkylation and acylation. Meta directors who are meta directors like nitrobenzene, like benzaldehyde, like cyanobenzene, like benzene sulfonic acid, all these, right? Like acetophenone, etc. So this is all about halogenation, nitration, sulfonation, alkylation, acylation, friedel -Kraft. Now, what is left? Coupling reaction and Gutterman. Kids, are you with me for 10 minutes? Will you support me for 10 minutes? Then just after 10 minutes, it will get completed, kids. Will you be there for 10 minutes? I can see Antriksh is there, very dedicated student. Power of education. Sri Sant is there. Wow, that's really fantastic. Everyone, all dedicated students are there. That's really awesome. Harsha is there. Niranjan is there. Victor Initha is there. Sharon Rose, very good, very good. This is the energy. Wow, this is source of energy kits. Really awesome. Really awesome. Now, my dear friends, just see coupling reaction.
coupling reaction. These coupling reactions are given on page number 398, old NCRT, very old, better to say, very old, and uh, 406 new NCRT. Now, our benzene diazonium chloride, benzene diazonium chloride is a very weak electrophile is a very weak electrophile my dear students so it will show coupling reaction where the color will come will react will show coupling reaction so will show coupling reaction only with strong ring activating groups strong ring activating groups now what are they and this is very very important my dear friend this is really very very important let me show you and let me tell you this is your benzene diazonium chloride hydrogen and double bond and chloride and triple bond now this is going to react with phenol phenol is ortho and para director now how the reaction will take place you can see just give a look the cl negative will go along with h plus and what product you are going to get kids just see just look Now see how many pi electrons are in conjugation. Can you see kids? How many pi electrons are in conjugation? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 pi pair electrons. That means 16 pi electrons are in conjugation. 8 pair of pi electrons. That means 16 pi electrons are in conjugation. And whenever these many pi electrons are in conjugation the thing appears colored this much conjugation whether it is beta carotene chlorophyll c55 h72 and 4o5 mg chlorophyll a chlorophyll b lycone pay lycopene chloroplast chromoplast all these things carotene beta carotene c40 h55 they all have conjugated system highly conjugated system and that's why they are colored so this is colored and the color of this dye is orange colored dye remember that gets very very important orange colored dye name is para hydroxy azobenzene remember that para hydroxy azobenzene azobenzene and the one dye which is being orange colored must have absorbed which colored must have absorbed blue color must have absorbed blue color 
because blue is its complementary color if you don't know you should know that this is the color wheel violet indigo or purple bib gyor blue green orange yellow orange red bib gyor so if anyone is looking orange colored then its complementary color is being blue remember this so this is very very important dye kits are you getting my point now second dye let me tell you the second dye if this benzene disonium chloride is reacting with aniline remember that aniline then once again hcl will eliminate out and this will give you what color dye you can see the color have drawn it with that color only yellow color dye remember this is yellow color dye and its name is para amino azobenzene remember that para amino azobenzene para amino azobenzene para amino azobenzene this is also given an ncrt the earlier one was also given an ncrt this is also given an ncrt now my dear friend i'm going to tell you two more dye which are not given an ncrt but right now this much is okay if there is two methyls then also it is going to give yellow dye let me tell you it is like this once again this will eliminate out hcl and you will get yellow color dye once again yellow color dye before i move ahead kids let me tell you remember that whenever this reaction is carried out with the phenol the medium maintained will be slightly basic medium slightly basic later on i will let you know the mechanism why basic and here slightly acidic mediums slightly acidic slightly acidic name of this dye is n n dimethyl para amino azobenzene azobenzene okay kids okay now my dear friends you must be thinking that what are these two dyes which baba was about to tell you kids just see if i tell you this dye you have to tell me the name where you have seen this okay
this will react now do let me know where have you seen this dye have you ever seen this structure anywhere just apply your brain then you will remember that this structure you have studied in your ionic equilibrium one was phenolphthalein indicator and another one was methyl orange indicator so this is methyl orange indicator methyl orange indicator and the last dye if you react benzene diazonium chloride, benzene diazonium chloride with beta naphthol, this is not given an NCRT, then you will get red color dye, red dye. Now, dyes are completed, coupling reaction has been completed. Now, only one thing is left, kids. What's that? Anyone can let me know? Is there anyone who can let me know what is left? Just five minutes, think. Gutterman coach and Gutterman aldehyde. Gutterman coach and Gutterman aldehyde. Are you ready for that, kids? Are you ready, kids? Are you ready, Gutterman coach and Gutterman aldehyde? Just see, Gutterman. Coach and Gutterman aldehyde reaction. Gutterman coach. The last topic, five minutes. Gutterman coach is benzene plus CO plus HCl. Catalyst. Benzaldehyde. Why they are using it? Because formyl chloride is not stable at room temperature. So, these together they will combine to form HCOCl and this is prepared in C2 because it is not stable at room temperature. Now, Gutterman aldehyde synthesis, that was the Gutterman coach, Gutterman aldehyde synthesis. Benzene plus HCN plus HCL. These together along with water, they will form HCOCL. And this will produce benzaldehyde. Now, my dear friends, these two reactions are very confusing. Why? In both, there is reactant is being benzene in both. Their product is being benzaldehyde, both HCl is being used, only the difference is of CO and HCN. This is only the difference. So remember that Gutterman coach, co for co, 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 co. So this is all about today's lecture, my dear friends. Baba has completed each and everything. Do let me know, everyone. How was the lecture? You enjoyed it or not? Baba has completed alkyne and benzene, each and everything kits, each and everything. And thanks for your respect, love, paying this much of attention, completing each and everything, and with proper response kits. Let me read your let me read your comments. Baba is best. Thank you, Sharuk Ahmed. Sharon Rose, thank you. Thank you, Ilamati. Kids, how much you liked it? I want to see in comments once the lecture is over. You have to tell me in comments. And one question I am giving you from wherever you can search search for it that 
how many of these will decolorize bromine water question is how many compounds will decolorize bromine water okay how many this is your homework question how many will decolorize br2 water right br2 water so i am giving you ethene benzene naphthalene very very good question i am giving you benzene naphthalene anthracene tricene tricene One, two, three, four, five. Five compounds are there. And this is your question. Out of these five, how many will decolorize bromine water? Okay. So, I will see this answer i would like to see this answer in the comment section wherever you can find it out you have to find it out and i will wait for your answer kids okay in the comment section no no right now you cannot answer it right now no one can give the answer you have to search for it next chapter yes not the aldehyde and ketone ne next chapter will be phenol and ether first phenol and ether then aldehyde and ketones then like that okay next chapter will be definitely phenol and ether because many students were asking sir phenol and ether you have not even once you have completed so next chapter will be phenol and ether okay kids kids okay now let me tell you this is crisin you are not able to understand it and then you will say sir oh my god we were not able to understand what was written over here this is kids this is crisin 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 okay now kids Good night to all of you. God bless you. Love you kids. May Almighty God bless you with all happiness and prosperity and the best rank in the coming examination. Okay. Antrich. Yes. That is in class 12th. So definitely it will be your homework and what to say what type of homework means that will be extra advantage. Good night, good night kids, good night to all of you, good night kids. Everyone take a Take a what? Sound sleep and at least six to seven hours sleep is necessary. Everyone, this is Baba's suggestion. Always take sound sleep. Six to seven hours sleep is necessary, compulsory.
शाहरुख थैंक यू इला माथी थैंक यू अंतरिक्ष बाय दीप शिका बाय गुड नाइट टेक केयर किड्स टेक केयर